Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to Wild Times, kids. We're in the it's wild, wild, uh, wild and crazy kids out here. Um, yeah. thank you all for joining us live for uh Mutant Academy. This is the show where me, DJ, and my co-host Sal. Hey Sal. What up? We talk about X Men. We talk about X Men movies. And listen, you know, we had a good run, kids. We, we had a we had a, we had a yeah. good. We had a few good. Even even you, Sal, you may recall from last time we did this, where I was like, things of uh, superhero movies have gotten uh, are in a place now where watching Last Stand, I was like, wait, is this better than I remember it being? Mm-hmm. Um, no illusions of that with X-Men Origins Wolverine. <laughs> no, in fact, it may be worse than I remember. Because like may... I remember being really harsh on this movie when I first saw it. And then yeah. and I was like, I I, I almost I was almost looking forward to seeing it because I was like, well, I've, I've only I've I've literally seen it the one time in theaters, and yep. then I've only seen like clips to remind myself of stuff. You know, when people talk mm -hmm. about it, I'm like, was that really that bad? And I look it up yeah. and I'm like, yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of the movie I didn't remember seeing, you know, like there's a lot of this movie I'm like, really? And yet, I don't know about you. How'd you feel about the I felt like, oh, we're oh, it's over. Yeah. I was like <laughs> so, I was shocked by how fast the movie was going. I was yeah. like, oh, all right. And I guess it's just it's 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 cliche in the most like I don't know. It's it's not even like sinister. It's just more like it's it's just this. They only hired the most cliche everything to get yeah. this movie going. Yeah, everything we'll, we'll, is we'll, dudes and fake, and it's terrible. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit. I was surprised. I, so this is, uh, we're, of course, we're talking about 2009's. By the way, this is, uh, I think, the year. it's a year or two years after Iron Man and The Dark Knight, which is not in this movie. Can it, you believe it? Favors. Oh, my God. I, for some reason, my brain my brain did a lot of tricks to, like, shield me from, from this movie. Because we, we text each other a little bit, and I was like, it's amazing how vast chunks of this movie my brain just delete this. No, you don't need this. You don't need Completely. This. Yeah. I didn't even remember the old people died. I was like, yeah. What? I didn't even remember the old people. I didn't yeah. even remember. And I remember, yeah. I remember I'm getting ahead of myself anyway, yes. but, but just imagine, cause I think for some, for some reason, my brain is like, yeah, this is pre, this is pre early MCU where it really felt like there was this real man and not to get too far, uh, far afield, but it is, you think about that era and it is like, wow, all the things that would end up like ruining our culture. There's yeah. a real golden age for them in those, early the the late aughts early 2010s totally but right before the mcu made it feel like oh they get it now yeah and so i just regulated all this x-men stuff pre that and it's like no this movie came out imagine seeing iron man in the dark knight and oh then the next you're seeing this movie and you're like well uh, uh, oops the fact is i don't have to imagine it we did like we i did. straight up and we were fans it wasn't like we got into this late in life like no I was like, Iron Man, oh my God, Dark yeah. Knight, yes. And then yeah. I was like, and I'm like, Wolverine, at this point in my career, I'm writing script reviews. So uh -huh. I get contacted to do the, because apparently the X-Men Origins was going to be a movie brand. And they were going to start mm -hmm. making all kinds of pre-movies. Yeah. And there was a Magneto script and a yeah. Wolverine script. And based on the strength of those two movies, were they going to keep making x-men origins movies yeah. uh that didn't happen and the magneto mm -hmm. script which i did review and got my first c and d as a result of mm -hmm. uh, yeah. proving that it was that it was legitimate uh was just turned into uh x-men first class yeah. yeah all the good stuff of the magneto script was just put into x-men first class great good and it's weird it's baffling like I wonder if I, I I did do a little research in this movie, but it was remarkable because my first instinct after seeing it was, how did this happen? What <laughs> what what were the series of events? Yeah, that led so none to of this. it was as, none of it was as interesting as I wanted it to be. Unfortunately, mm. I do want to uh, know though. Yeah, but it was it was like I, I but I do wonder if part of it was maybe we can do people are hype about this Avengers thing. Maybe we can do these standalones and bring them all back together. And it's just yeah. unfortunate that like wow, it's it's hard to imagine. That, fumbling wolverine of all characters this hard really hard and it's just every every decision was bad like from and the get-go like from the jump the movie is just like a mistake 100 like, percent. and we're going to be getting into that and but you did make me think like you're like oh man it was over so quick and it's like yeah now this movie would be like two and a half hours long and then it made me realize like i think because you know people 
I feel like I'm in the minority that I do not think the Snyder Cut is an improvement over Justice League. Um, it's, it's, it's just longer. It's just longer. Um, it is longer. Yeah, it is longer. And, and I do think, and I've been, I've been kind of on campaign that like movies have gotten too long. Uh, and I think that goes hand in hand with movies have gotten too expensive to make. Um, yeah. too, you are so correct. Yeah, but and and I think part of it is that idea, and I think it is a failure of imagination of like, no, you need to get to the. Like even this movie that goes by quick, it's the opening, the opening, the scene you should have opened on happens like 20 minutes into the movie. Like this is yes. where you open the movie, all that other bullshit we didn't need. But I'm getting ahead <laughs> of myself. Uh, uh, if you want to, we we are doing this live. If you want us to read your comment, do the super chat. That's what it's called, right? Sound super chat. That is correct. Super also, chat. I should say, I almost got derailed from the one thing we should talk about. This is an X-Men show. And uh, I'm sure you experienced this too, Sal, doing the stuff that you do. There was a lot of like, we're uh, recording this in the midst of a SAG strike. Um, uh, neither Sal or I are, you're not SAG, right, Sal? Or I am not SAG. SAG. I know. Yeah, we're not, we're not SAG. And uh, also this is a movie that came out in 2009. So we're not carrying water. We're good. For any, yeah, we're not carrying any water for the studios here. But That's there was right. a lot of like, all that Superman casting of like, we got to get that shit in under the wire before that. And the other thing, that we had to get in there last minute. I feel like this was all Comic Con stuff that, like, oh, yeah. Uh, we're like, when you get in there, we got uh, our first shots of what have to be incredibly sweaty boys. Uh, oh, no question. That is that is some hot stuff. It's not like the back of the suits are just empty, they're just yeah. naked man ass behind them. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they're just trapped in their own. They're, it's, a, it's a sauna suit, essentially. It's a sauna suit, but we're getting the classic uh, yellow and blue. One has to assume that at some point we're going to get the mask. The mask is going to be CG, and I think we both know that. Don't do this to me, Sal. Don't you? Do <laughs> Spider Man's mask was CG in most of No Way Home. Don't, don't do it. Don't like, the, don't do like this they too. literally had to tell Andrew Garfield, tell me where to go. We'll put it in. Listen, I'm fine with the demasking because there's no way the mask it's gonna works move like that, that way. That's just no way. This is not, that's not how that works. You need five I, people I, to get you out of that thing. Yeah, yeah. That's but, true. So that part, fine with, but like fucking put on. And I guess maybe at it, they yeah, just look so bad. Like even even movies that I love, like I love Black Panther, the it CG shoot doesn't look good. It doesn't no. look. It looks like CG. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably right. The mask will probably be CG. I don't like that. I, I don't think it'll be nanotech at least. <laughs> One hopes not. One hopes not. But what do you think of the of the costume itself? It's almost perfect. It's like a ninety nine point nine percent. I the only and the only ding I have on it is. It has a built-in defense, which is that Hugh Jackman has a, has a predisposition for skin cancer. So uh, obviously there is no shade where they are, and it's like yeah. so you can't get rid of the sleeves. But I think if you got rid of the sleeves, it'd be a slam dunk. Right now, it still is a slam dunk. It's just you didn't shatter the backboard. The uh, only other thing I would suggest is I wish I, they did that. They did the thing they love to do, where it's like you know the tiger stripes are straps now. It's like don't no, do yeah. even the OG Wolverine X Men suit had. The outline of the stripes. tiger stripes, man. Come on, just do the stripes, yeah. my dude. Don't, it, I don't, don't need, need to explain them. Nobody cares. It, it, he's never gonna go. Oh, I need to loosen my strap. Like exactly. I also think. I also feel like there was a lot of discourse online. Like this will be good. Deadpool will make a joke about how stupid the costume is, and then we'll move on. I was like, one, fuck it's off. not two. stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck off. Uh, uh, second, second. Don't you can't. It's my same issue when every time we feel the need to make a joke about Otto Octavius's name, it's like you can't. You start pulling at that thread, the whole thing's going to come apart, man. Exactly. It's, like, it's his name's Otto Octavius. Just live with it, all yeah. right? Like, everybody in this universe is alliterative. Oh, you want to give yeah. Matt Murdock a problem? Or also yeah. J. Jonah Jameson? Or how about Robbie Robertson? Like, what are we doing here? You I mean, need come to, the, on. the universe you live in, that's a normal name. The universe they live in, this is the guys wear this costume. We're accepting yeah. that. Don't, don't, I, I don't need you to make a joke about it. No. Also, uh, just a side note, Deadpool looks fantastic too. It's a little bit of a change from the previous suit. We were already all like, this Deadpool suit can never be better. Yeah. And then they made it better and it looks like it's like more cloth than leather, which I like a lot. It's just yeah. a good red. Mm -hmm. The Wolverine and Deadpool costumes together just look full. I'm like, I want to see a whole damn reimagining of the X-Men suite where they're wearing this. I don't, we saw something like that in the last X-Men movie with Cyclops wearing the 90s suit. And I'm like, that that's no good. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It, was a little, it was a little chunky. It was a little, it was a little chunky. Yeah. I, yeah. I, my only bummers, I, I was kind of, I liked the idea I, that the new guy, whoever the new guy is, 
Yes. He gets to be the first one in the suit. I agree. That's, that was an it's an easy way. He gets to be the guy in the suit. He gets to be the guy that fights Hulk. Hugh Jackman sure. had 20 years. We need to give the new guy something. To, You're talking to, to the guy who wanted uh, to see who the MCU Green Goblin and Doc Ock was going to be. Mm, like, yeah, so it's ruined now. Like, yeah. it's just th this multiverse thing. No one. I never asked for this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I love No Way Home. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm starting to like, it's not that No Way Home is now overshadowing the other ones. Like, I have seen Far From Home and I'm like, I still kind of dig this movie. Like, I love yeah. all the Mysterio stuff. This is all pretty solid and fun. But like, I really, really wanted to see who like the new Doc Ock was going to be. I wanted yeah. to see the new Green Goblin. I, yeah. I, I, I don't need this, but we have it now and we live in it and it was good. I dug it. You know, but I'm not, I like nostalgia as much as the next guy. Like, you know, I, yeah. I watch old movies that I grew up watching and I still want them. I'm still disappointed by their sequels. They're 40 <laughs> years removed, but yes. like, you know, but, but like, I would also like to see the new exciting thing. Yeah, we can uh, exactly in this. And I think that's the, that's kind of what's got me nervous about all the um, Superman legacy Superman stuff. Yeah. The, the, with the, with the JLI and stuff like that. And it's like, we've had Superman has been, We've had Superman movies since the 70s, and right. we've not once had Brainiac or Metallo. I or, think we're getting Brainiac in this uh, movie. You, they've got to. You've li I, 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 no, I'm not going to say you've literally got to, but as close to literally, yeah. you have to do. You have to. Yeah. He's, uh, it's Lex Luthor, Brainiac. And then Brainiac. And we haven't done him yet. And meanwhile, no. we're casting Guy Gardner and Metamorpho. <laughs> I know. And it's, and it's just one of those that's like, I don't have anything against this. I do think fucking what's his face is too old to be a guy Gardner, but that's uh, it's a uh, me, me thing. Um, yeah. But it's one of those that like just do the fucking just do just make a Superman movie, man. Just do. I want to yes. see the new. It, it goes back to my Spider Man thing. It's like I don't need. I want to see the MCU's. I don't want Zendaya to be MJ. I want her to be Mary Jane. Yes. I don't want Genki in there. Like I want. No. This is the first. Don't don't fuck. You don't need to fuck with it. Just do the thing. This is the first time Spider Man gets to exist in the MCU. Like Just you're saying, do the thing. Show me MCU Doc Ock. Show me MCU Osborne. What does MCU Osborne think about Tony Stark? That's what I want to know. <laughs> These are the things I want to see. This is the reason I got excited. Like why I'm on the train. Yeah. Is because of the promise of the vistas I was gonna get. Yeah. This is not what I signed up for. I did not sign up for us to go back through, like ride this train that I mm -hmm. paid like a thousand dollars a ticket for to go back through my old neighborhood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm seeing new stuff. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, yeah. Ray Far in the chat, Sal, woo! Origins is woo. overly hated, in my opinion. Is it good? No, but it's better than X3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. uh, I view it as dumb fun, and we get a dope game out of it. I've heard good things about the game. The game I played into Oblivion, it's, it is it is great. That's the game where your, your damage is uh, reflected in how much... Your HP is reflected in how much damage he has on his body. Yeah. That's good. That's good it's stuff. It's really smart. And it's like, it's very hard R rated. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine in the game. Cool. Uh, it's really cool. And unlike Tobey Maguire playing Spider Man in the game, mm -hmm. he's not phoning it in. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Ray also says, also, DJ found the channel because of Sal. Oh, Thank well, you, thanks. Sal. Thank you, Sal. Okay. So Deadpool 3 is not filming right now because of the SAG strike. Um, yeah. So well, that's good. You know what? Good. Put it yeah. on pause. Wait for all the writers to come back. Yes, please. And, and then thank make you. it good. Yeah. Please, please and thank you. Um, also, like, fucking studios, man. Fucking. Oh, James fucking, Bond level villainy. Yeah. Fucking stop being such a. It's. I. We. I. If I let myself, <laughs> I will get derailed on this. So I'm just going to mention yeah. this and we're going to move on. We're going to okay. move on. But I don't, we have let, it's because it's not just like billionaires, but like multimillionaires. You all know what we mean. This this like fucking one percenters, right? Yeah. We've just let them like ruin everything. And I don't know yeah. what, like God bless labor uh, uh, movements and stuff like that. But it's yeah. like, it's a, like, it's a big, we need to uh, Twitter. Like literally, I just mentioned it. Everything. Uh, and I'm, I think in previous episode, you and I did, I mentioned this, this, uh, Mark Russell tweet that tweet that lives like rent free in my brain, where he's like, I feel like a chicken who's just now realizing they didn't build the coop because they like me. And it's like, yeah, right. all this stuff <laughs> that was like seemed great. It's not like a trap we're in. Yeah. But speaking of the yeah. trap, um, let's talk about X Men, the X Men movies. Let's talk about. We're gonna go into 
Way of X. This is our first segment where we just talk about the movie. This is, of course, directed Sweet. by Gavin Hood, who previously, uh, previous to this did Sotsi. Um, and I guess that was strong enough that he got this gig. And what <laughs> shocked me more was that he got work after this, including yeah. Ender's Game. <laughs> that blew my mind. Yeah. I, I, I had to do the same thing. I don't know about you, but I'm watching the movie and I'm about like 25 minutes in and I go, who made this movie? Yeah. <laughs> Who do I blame for this? Who can I blame for this? Uh, and, and I was like, oh, look at that. He's done two things. And yeah. then still, and I'm like, Ender's Game. And then I, I, it's funny, it came up. He was an actor in Ender's Game. And I'm like, oh, he was in Ender's Game. And then yeah. I saw, oh, and he directed the damn thing? Yeah. Yeah, and Ender's Game wasn't terrible. I don't, I did not see it. I did not oh, see it. Um, it's not great, but it's not Yeah, bad. and it's just written by David Benioff of Game of Thrones fame uh, and Skip Woods. Uh, and of course, the summary is the early years of James Logan. Pause. Did they change his name to James Logan in this movie? Did I miss that? Because in the they comments, sure it's did. James it's, it's James Howlett. I guess that's fine. Because then you have to explain why Logan. Like, where did that come from? It's I guess just, so. Yeah, sure. Whatever. It's terrible. Uh, featuring his rival rivalry with his brother Victor Creed, uh, his service in the Special Forces team Weapon X, and his experimentation into the metal-lined mutant Wolverine. If that sounds like a lot, it sure is. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, this has a 38 percent uh, and an audience score of 58 percent. Though Hugh Jackman gives it his all, he can't help X Men Origins Wolverine overcome a cliche-ridden script and familiar narrative. Uh, baffling, Sal, bafflingly, Sal. I had to one. Why do I have to rent this movie, man? I've got like five fucking streaming services. Why isn't it? I why had it on, it's on it? stars. I don't know. I, I, I didn't have to pay for it. I was very happy. Okay. Yeah. I was, why isn't it on Disney Plus? The way you pay off Spay yeah. on my box. Anyway, whatever. Uh, on Amazon, this has four and a half out of five stars. That's outrageous. Yeah. I don't. Uh, anyway, uh, no. <laughs> I, say, I say no. 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 It's uh, two stars at best. Uh, uh, all. Al Ziadi says Gavin Hood doesn't like Origins either, and officially, uh, uh, and Official Secrets is a great movie he made. Well, oh. Maybe I'll check that out. Um, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we we um, open on a flashback. X Men Origins Wolverine opens on a flashback to um, young James Logan is apparently <laughs> the character's name. Oh, yeah. uh, with a character I assume we're supposed to understand is his half brother. That opening scene was like, "Wait, what's that? Wait, okay, it's his half brother. There's a guy that looks like Hugh Jackman that isn't Hugh Jackman." My wife thought <laughs> it was Hugh Jackman. She's like, not, "That is also not his actually his dad." That, that she was like, she she literally paused the movie. We're like, we're in the middle of the opening credits with like the yeah. montage, and she goes, yeah. "Wait, but he is his dad, though." Yeah. Like, but they're not. She's like, "Wait, so the whole movie is a lie?" Yeah. Like. <laughs> They think they're brothers. Like Victor lies to Logan and makes him think that they're brothers, but they're not because she's like, they got Hugh Jackman to play his real father. Nope. And I'm like, no, that's just a guy who looks like Hugh Jackman. She goes, yeah. well, that what? Why would he look like? Hugh, why? Why would they do that? Yeah. Why wouldn't you get the groundskeeper guy, the guy that looks like exactly? Hugh and I'm like, this movie is garbage. Like yeah, just, it's, well, from it, the get go, I'm like, oh, like, well, okay, what so, movie you're making? Uh, Logan's sick, uh, sickly. There, and and uh, dad clearly doesn't like groundskeeper's kid, probably because he suspects some stuff. Groundskeeper throws a tantrum, shoots not dad. Logan the freaks mom. out. No, no, he shoots somebody else. He yeah, said, yeah, the mom, the mom does the classic, like she has no uh, uh, context for yeah. mutants or anything like that. But she takes one look at her kid with claws and she's like, I don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, but yeah. They, they have their kid they have this little kid actor and nothing it gets he's a ch ch kid act, it's tough right yeah you gotta give have him a pass but he does he, they require him to do the 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 wolverine like he screams and then yeah. and then there's the bit and it's the it might be the funniest fucking scene in the movie where mm -hmm. he like runs claws out at, yes. at groundskeeper dad yeah. And it's like, how did you not cut how did you not cut this man? How how right. did you look at that through the lens and been like, yeah. That's what yeah. we want. <laughs> it open. I remember in the theater, just laughter and guffaws when he when they do the operatic pan up from his yeah. face and him screaming at the screen, like just laughter and giggles. No one took that scene seriously, and it really sucks because if you've read uh, Origin, yeah. the Wolverine Origin from Paul Jenkins and I think Andy Kubert or Adam Kubert, yeah, uh, it, it's it's almost the same effing scene, yeah, but done a thousand, but 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 real and yeah. good. 
Yeah. And it, yeah. and it's great. Like, uh, you know, Wolverine is a sickly little kid. Victor is not his brother. It's another yeah. one who's, it, it, that was, that's the weird part is that like yeah. in the movie, they're like, streamline it. Super yeah. Sabretooth is his brother. In the comics, Dog is the like half brother person. And yeah. he's just, a, it's like the idea, I guess the implication of the origin book is just like, there's always a saber tooth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always gonna be, and I think we'll get into saber tooth in a minute. But anyway, they yeah. decide to like run off together. I mean, whatever, man. Um, oh, so... I know. I love how like when they're in the woods, and he's yeah. like, he, because uh, uh, there's a great line in the in that sequence where he says, uh, "He's not calling my name." Yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, father. Yeah, yeah. and uh, well, you know when they're all, when they're all looking for them, you know, on the yeah. grounds, and uh, Victor's like, "We gotta go." And then I can imagine Logan just looking at him and going, they're not looking for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks, looks like you accidentally murdered your dad. Oops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going back to my house. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they run off. We get this montage of uh, uh, those opening credit sequence of them fighting wars throughout history. Why did they fight in the American Civil War? I think... I, and here's what's so frustrating. I don't know. If, uh, did you notice any like text that said what country we're in in the opening sequence? I, did I, not. I, I think you're going to. I think you're going to suggest what I think you're going to suggest. Yeah, I think they're Americans, and they just end up in Canada. And so he thinks he's Canadian. No, no. I think he's. I think because there's a line later where you know they're like your country needs you, and he says I'm Canadian. Good, yeah, yeah. Good fun line. I think that he like matriculated. I don't. I think that he's. I, I think for him that's a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like I don't think they're actually Canadian um in this movie but again like but why would they hire a guy to look like hugh jackman if he's not biologically his father like yes. it's just they Every, don't know what they're what they're doing everything just, is wrong about this movie everything's everything wrong. wrong uh ray far says i know the comics are truly to blame but one thing i dislike about this movie is that it cemented the bone, bone claws in the pop, uh, pop culture dang bone claws i like the bone claws i i uh i don't <laughs> but i also <laughs> like because it's like yeah you grafted the adamantium these bones i don't know why that would suddenly give you claws so yeah you've got the claws yeah, yeah they just now they have adamantium on them like i like that that's yeah fine yeah, yeah yeah i i i don't like how weird it is that they like to break them in these movies so much because mm -hmm. like it's this breakable. and in that uh in the in the wolverine yeah the apology movie they made like it's just yeah, exactly. it's it's weird and uh, i and and they never look good and they make a gross sound i don't care for bone claws uh, <laughs> i don't care for bone claws i don't care for bone claws yeah. i do understand and you know what it is i think if bone claw if if Wolverine, if it had stopped yeah in the comics at just bone claws yeah i'd be fine but he had to devolve and lose the nose and become this beast that sucks i think people are madder i think people who hate the bone claws hate what the bo the bone claws represented or became or begat gotcha that's i think if it stop the bone claws they just break like he's like, like he, he's reluctant to pop the claws because he knows that like they might break and he yeah. has to grow them back or something like that's there's something there there's an yeah, idea yeah, yeah. There. i did like again i was a young young man when when the when that was i did like the bandana over his head i didn't uh, mind. I, didn't, I didn't mind i'm on board with ben riley i didn't mind evolve over him that, that's that we, yeah we've come to it at last we 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 listen. We uh, get this whole scene with them through fighting wars throughout history, and conceptually, yeah. this is cool. Although I will say, it's the classic where we like freeze frame when a credit comes up, and yeah. as it goes on, they choose some like really awkward, weird frames to pause on, like yes, or like a character will be like turned around or something, and you're like, you're like, oh, cool. what's happening? <laughs> All I know is <laughs> Zack Snyder would have demolished this he would have like he would have, would have been dumb, dumb. eaten it up yeah uh, i like the scene i think it's actually a pretty fun sequence and i like the implication it's like these two are attracted to war and battles and they never stop yeah because i'm like why would they keep enlisting like why are you in the civil war yeah you're like, not being you forced doing? yeah you're not being forced into it like yeah and they, it's like no they keep asking for it and, I'm and like, it's one of like those that. there's this there's this subtext thing that they just is just they never never engage with at all um uh lenny laser discs like your name uh one of the yeah. writers credited skip woods also wrote die hard five oopsie well eight. that says a lot because that's, that's the worst one uh oopsie i don't i think i saw that on a bus trip in mexico <laughs> like they were playing it on a on a that bus is exactly where mexico. that movie should be that's where they should screen the movie is on a bus in mexico on a that bus movie in mexico um so yeah so eventually they um uh, by the way, Zach, I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Zack Snyder was one of the people they reached out to to do this movie, mm. and he decided to do Watchmen instead. And I wish good move for him. 
I yeah, probably me too. Did for, for him, but I don't like that Watchmen movie, and I don't like this movie, and I think he would have done a much better job with a Wolverine movie. <laughs> Here's the worst part, because here, if Zack Snyder had passed on the Watchmen movie yeah. and made X Men Origins Wolverine, yeah, X Men Origins Wolverine would have been sixty five percent more testosterone ridden, yeah, and and better, yes, but forgotten, and. He never would have been invited to do anything involved with the DC universe. So what I'm I, hearing is all I'm hearing is win, Sal. All I'm exactly. hearing, all I'm hearing, because I know. Yeah, the, and 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 like I've said a lot about like Snyder's like pseudo fascist, jingoistic, whatever he likes yeah. to do. Like he he basically reversed Starship Trooper Watchmen. Like yes, he, yes, he's he like these guys anti- are cool. Yeah, he turned an anti-fascist work into a semi-fascist work. Yeah, but like that works better that all that works better for wolverine frank miller he's got a rock hard on for frank miller frank miller is hugely influential on wolverine do the wolverine movie man wolverine. Yeah, exactly. no i i know i they would have, you would have done all three they would have fucking ruled and and i and, and we'd be having a whole different conversation right now dude yeah Zack snyder's wolverine trilogy where it's like it's it's versus victor it's in japan and then it's yeah. like after, maybe the, the end yeah you know, like the last one that yeah i there's a good chance that might be my favorite uh superhero movie trilogy there i there's a reality where i could see that happen yeah it's the Zack snyder wolverine trilogy <laughs> yeah i'd be like listen there's some problematic aspects of it but listen man it's wolverine you know whatever it's, man it's not yeah yeah it's not like you took the seminal work of a of a of a vocal anarchist <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just <laughs> like, perverted it this, yeah what if this was about the opposite um yeah, anyway yeah. um so uh, this ends with we we get hints of um Sabretooth uh, causing trouble. I think it's Vietnam. The actual timeline of this movie when it's, this movie takes place is shaky. Oh, and they want it to be. But yes, I, I think it's definitely Vietnam. I don't think it's Korea, but I think yeah. it's uh, yeah, it's Vietnam. And then I love how this relationship is terrible and toxic. And I don't mm-hmm. and I, and I think there's something to be said about that, but I don't think that they're the ones to do it. Yes. And uh but like Victor's like, well, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna do all the things, all the things that you don't like about Vietnam. I'm gonna do the shooting civilians from helicopters, yep. and I'm gonna have my way with this random villager. And that was when Wolverine's like, that's enough. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if you had shown, and I, I don't think they successfully did it in the montage, but if you had shown Wolverine getting wearier yeah. as their wars keep going, if and Victor getting the story, more, told the story. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Like if we'll, and, and Victor getting more bloodthirsty and terrible, but instead we just have like a, a dope sequence that everyone likes and remembers the most about this movie. Yeah. And then Victor's like, and also I'm a rapist. And you're like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay. And then they're like, yeah, back to back. Rah. And I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. He assaulted an officer and he's trying to, he's trying to like have his way with people. Yeah. Why are you now killing your own fellow like soldier? Like, what are you doing? Like you yeah. deserve everything you get after this. Yeah, so they get put in front of a, a firing squad. I like the concept of this because obviously it doesn't kill yes. them. And this is where Stryker shows up. And Oof. listen, I've seen Danny Houston in. Th- I actually think Danny Houston's a really talented actor. Not, not here, not here. Really, because I've I've never liked him. Uh, Every time I see him, I'm like, he's a he's terrible in this. Uh, yeah, he's not good in this movie. And I've. I, spoilers for later in the movie where we bring back Patrick Stewart. It should have just been Brian Cox. Man, I don't care. I can't he looks it. the same age. It literally does not matter to me. It's Brian fucking Cox. Just bring him the fuck back, man. <laughs> he is so good. And it's like, it, it is just compounded by how I'm like, again, like it's just one of those frustrating things when they recast, like, or when they cast younger people, but I'm like, well, what's the age difference between Brian Cox and you right now? It Five years. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not marked enough. And also they're not, they don't play the character the same. No, they don't. He's just a completely different character. Yeah, and it's like it, then just make him a different actor, like just or just just write another character. Just write another character, and it's just anyway missed opportunity, especially since obviously Brian Cox died in X two. It's like this is a perfect opportunity, unless unless he said no, which aren't valid which, on his part. Right. Uh, he's, but he's like, probably making adaptation or something. <laughs> but like, fuck, man, just bring him back. Um, yeah. so uh, the, he pulls them. It's and this also reminds me a lot of if this is post Dark Knight, it is very post Batman Begins. And this gave me Batman Begins vibes, which in this case is is bad. Is bad because yeah. it does not live up to that comparison of like Ra's al Ghul pulling out Bruce Wayne. But uh, Striker recruits uh, Sabretooth and Logan. Uh, we're introduced to the rest of the team on a mission in Lagos. We are introduced to Agent Zero. And this is where we get into where I want to ask everybody involved. In your mind, <laughs> what are mutant powers? And right, how what do they work? Powers. 
Yeah, because here's the thing. Uh, what's frustrating is all these characters on the team are real and they're yes. from the comic book. Yes. Uh, Tiffany was like, is Agent Zero real? Oh my God, he's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's real. I did have some confusion. Are Agent Zero and Maverick two different characters? Yes. Good, because at least now... Maverick, Maverick isn't ruined. Solid. Yeah, Ma Maverick isn't <laughs> solid. There's still and, a chance. And listen, and Maverick's one of those that like, well, DJ, what do you like about Maverick? He look cool. He's, he yeah. looks cool. <laughs> he has a cool look. <laughs> uh, I like his costume. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so Agent oh, Zero... He, does... he is the same character. Oh. Well, no, I looked it up, and I was confusion. It, it's I it, I can't... Oh, somebody tell us in the chat. Yeah, because there's Chris Nord, and then there's David North. Yeah. There's two different there's Mavericks. Overlap. I don't... It's some confusion about what maybe agent zero became maverick for a minute and then whatever it's comics it's weird but you can i fix it you can yeah. clean up maverick maverick's still okay maverick's they didn't call okay. him maverick so agent zero and his ability is he does gun stuff apparently um yeah and yeah. then we're uh introduced to dukes better known in the comics as blob played by kevin durand who's an actor i really like and i think actually does some good stuff here despite the movie he's in um uh the, he gets a moment so this is they all get their moment in this invasion of lagos or whatever yeah. and i do like blob this is pretty blob. he's just jacked at this point yeah uh, i like where he stops it he like fucking punches the tank down its gun barrel and the tank blows up i'm like that all right I, begrudgingly yeah. i'll give you that that was cool. <laughs> i thought that was fun until i noticed that his hand wasn't like had no scorch marks on it i'm like Come if on, i'm looking at them and it's one of those things it's that line from star wars where it's like hey kid if they're looking at your hair we're all in big trouble mm -hmm. and it's like um, i'm looking at like attention to detail and in, in glove effects i'm like yeah. this movie is not holding me yeah oh, yeah, no. yeah 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 um we get uh bradley played by dominic monaghan who has electric powers i guess sure right yep yeah whatever um and then we get uh we get dead will i am wait wait oh we, oh that's right i skipped we haven't gotten will i am hasn't used his powers yet will i am is oh yes yeah, i'm sorry but wade yeah but wade we get we get uh wade um and he had and at this point sal if you had to guess what his mutant powers were at this point in the movie is it just sword sword stuff is it's it just swords uh yeah i i didn't get in i i didn't get anything out of it except that he could do the sword thing like he could yeah. spin his swords which, which looks... i didn't even i didn't even remember that because like he does it again in deadpool 2 and i i was like i didn't even know that was a reference to anything because i forgot this movie so hard. all right no i this is one of the parts that were baked in my brain because it was like but wait that's not this was the moment even when i was watching this movie i was like what do you is that supposed to be his power what am i supposed right. to understand of this scene they're not this movie treats them as if they're like he-man characters and not like mutants like what what's the yeah. mutant ability here swing sword fast is that anyway right whatever. and it, so it's like oh it's speed no it's that i guess he's invulnerable he's invulnerable but yeah but only when he's holding sword uh, swords in his hand i don't it's yeah it's a it's one of those like egregious where like man you all thought this was really fucking cool and it's just really stupid it's just, it's just really, it just really looks stupid you know what it is by really dumb five years after blade trinity where i think ryan reynolds was better as hannibal in the worst blade movie yeah 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 but you do see moments in this where it's like i you they're know I, not just that they're but like ryan reynolds is trying He's, and it's he like, wants he wants it to work so bad yeah and you can feel it and you're like no i you know i had mixed feelings on the first deadpool movie but it's like this guy he was doing it like he was and this he nailed scene, it. he's like and he's like kind of like bothering everybody it's like yeah man you earned it like you earned that deadpool movie dude like <laughs> totally totally yeah you the you're the only one crap. he you feel like he's the only one who showed up and actually gave a crap like, yeah he's, he's like, like he's, guys i don't know if you understand this i'm playing deadpool all right right this means something to me i want yeah, this like, to happen <laughs> he recognized the names of the characters in the script yes and was like oh my god you know yeah. he yeah, he was excited, and uh, thank God he did, because you know what? I think that if he wasn't in this movie, he wouldn't have as much attachment to Deadpool. He wouldn't have cared. We wouldn't have gotten yeah. the Deadpool like trilogy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Good, good for him. Good for him putting in, putting in the time. Um, yeah. So the mission in, in Will I Am is here, and he has teleport powers. Why the fuck? <laughs> and Will is, I Am is also in the movie. Is it Will I Am? I don't fucking know, man. I can't. I literally can't explain to you any of the decisions in this movie. Like they're all like baffling. Um, yeah, I agree. The mission here is to get uh, adamantium, which that's good. great. Cool. Um, yeah. But they're treating it like vibranium because it's like a meteorite. Yes. Yep. So uh, they're fine trying to find it. They're in the villages and they're about ready to kill people. 
and Wolverine decides to walk away because they're murdering people. And here's mm-hmm. what I don't like about origin movies like this, Sal. Like, well, yeah. he'll even say the line later in this movie. I have in my notes, not realizing he's going to say the line later. But Wolverine, <laughs> Wolverine's like tagline. Yeah. Spider-Man has responsibility. Wolverine has. I'm the best I am at what I do, but what I do isn't very nice. And yeah. this completely Ruins undermines me. any arc to the character. And I hate it when we go back to like you want to know what happened, what Wolverine was like before he's Wolverine? Turns out he's exactly the same. And it's like, then what are we doing? Like, what? <laughs> that's not a story. That's just, it's the same yeah. thing that bothered me with, with Gotham. Like, you're going to see the secret origin of how James Gordon became James Gordon. And the answer is he was always this way. Yeah. All right. Then why, what yeah. are we doing here? <laughs> right. Then what's the story? Why am, Why do I care? Why am I invested? And it's like, because yeah. you are here to watch a Gordon movie. Like, you're yeah. here to watch Wolverine. Like, and that you know, it's funny. It feels that 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 feels like a like an actor thing. And I know it isn't because Hugh Jackman doesn't seem to have as much of an ego as most of these people. And like I, I imagine like, it, but it feels like one of those things where he goes, Wolverine wouldn't do that. Like Wolverine wouldn't be that 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 horrible. And it's like a he would, and yeah. b we're, it's pre Wolverine. Like we're yeah. we're we're telling his story. But I don't think I think Hugh Jackman's just there to collect the like he's he's got to be two thirds of the budget, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's an issue too. I do wonder because I I felt it less rewatching the first two X Men movies, but I do one of my issues. Like obviously, Hugh Jackman, incredibly talented. Yes, um, uh, been in the role twenty years. It, it's it, he really helped define it. But one of my issues with his take on the character, and I think it is something that that happened over time. The more he led, the more he became the lead of the franchise. Right, is Wolverine, for lack of a better term, kind of became declawed. And I think uh-huh. what I'd like to see with the MCU is like Wolverine should be mean. Like he should be one step away from being one of the bad guys. Like he should be. And especially if you're doing an origins movie, yeah. I don't need him to pull in a saber tooth and like threatening to rape somebody. Right. Like, he, he should be a, be a monster. Like, he, should he should be a bad, bad person. Like that's, and yeah. I think that's part of what, why people, one of the many reasons why audiences really gravitated towards uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man is they did allow, like he wasn't at, there was an arc there. He yes. was an asshole that learned to be a hero. The problem with it, with what it's the 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 burden of success that became almost every MCU character's arc. <laughs> like, like it's like, oh, we got, we got the one that works. Here yeah, it is. Do that. Do that all the time. Yeah. Uh, except for Peter Parker. I don't know what that. Except for Peter Parker, and I, and I think pointedly, except for Cap, which I do think is why, and it works out. Obviously, yeah. it's from the comics too. But I I almost do think it was a happy accident that that dichotomy is what allowed them to be the pillars. It's what makes Captain America Civil War work is right. Cap was the one character that we didn't give that arc to. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I hate like it's funny. I hate to give him credit, but like Avengers, we yeah. saw that friction immediately. Like yes. Whedon tapped into that and was like, this is what the this is the friction in the in the team. Yeah. Is these two. And it almost helps them too, because I think in other in other adaptations, there's no question that Cap's the leader, but because Iron Man is the guy. He runs the team. Like he's the leader. He creates the Avengers. Yeah, you almost inherited attention that you probably didn't even plan on originally, just because like Robert Downey Jr. is the guy. He is the face the of guy. the franchise. Um, yeah. So, yeah. One hundred percent. And yeah, I'm just. And again, this is post Iron Man. Like, guys, pay fucking pay attention. Wolverine, like, you're right. Wolverine should be scary. Like, they should be afraid of him. They should be like worried about unleashing him. Yeah. Like the the. Part of the fun of the Miller Claremont Wolverine series is no. like there's that moment at the end when he sends the wedding invitation to the X-Men and it's like him in his like full Japanese regalia holding yeah. his like fiance. Yeah. And like it's just the X-Men are like, what? Who is this? Yeah. Like, you should be surprised when he is a good person. Yeah. You know, or like you should be surprised he knows etiquette. Yeah. You know, like Wolverine is just like, oh, I'm going to cut your head off with my knives, blah, yeah. like all yeah. the time. And then it turns out like he's like, well, yeah, I'm 300 years old. Like I, I grew up in refinement, at least for an entire generation. Yeah. You know, like I know how to do things. I, I am this. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that kind of like that internal struggle of, of the more animalistic nature, the, the opposite is you could show that Wolverine is overtly heroic here. Logan is overtly heroic. And then the events of this movie take him to drag him down. This is a, this is a tragedy. And so then, then that gives you an opportunity to fill in the gap between where this movie ends, where you're like, wow, Wolverine's like scary now Yeah. to where we saw him in X-Men. How did that transition happen? But we just fumble all the bags. Um, Completely. So cut to, we literally, so Wolverine walks away in Lagos cut to 
a woman we've never seen before. And now we find out that I guess Logan shacked up with her. And I guess it's six years later. And I guess <laughs> I'm supposed to care about the, even though none of this was seated, we, this is a, where we're at now. And in my opinion, like this is where you begin the movie. You begin the movie. Logan's a lumberjack living with this woman. That's the relationship that matters. And then when Creed shows up, you see, uh Oh, this tough as nails guy suddenly scared. Why? backstory here's the story of wolverine and saber tooth because i don't give a shit about the way this movie's structured i don't care about silver fox why should i no 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 uh also being a lumberjack pays great because that house is what like two million bucks like look at that <laughs> look, look, look at that location yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I also love it's it's it is so cliche like it is the opening of commando it's every <laughs> movie you've ever seen commando is by the time they made commando it was cliche yeah. Like commander, they're like, we're doing the thing. The yeah, thing yeah. that you you don't even know what movie it originally happened in. Where yeah. he's like, I've I've got a job. You know, and they're like, oh, what does it pay? And it's like, enough to live here. Mm -hmm. I'm living in an amazing looking woman. Yeah. Who yeah. has superpowers I don't know about. Yeah, I've got exactly. these, I get to do whatever I want whenever I want to at all times. Why would I ever turn my back on this? Yeah. I don't, you know, the only reason to miss it is because like I'm truly. Like I, I'm a monster and yeah. I liked being a monster, you know, but even then, like I love when later in the movie, he's like, you wanted the animal. And I'm like, Oh, well I look forward to seeing that at some point. Yeah, please, please. And thank you. Sometimes I'll uh, be rude to somebody. So uh, silver box is played by Lynn Collins, who is uh, the character is indigenous in the comic. She's supposed to be indigenous. Uh, I do not believe the actress is. Uh, I didn't get the impression she was, but I didn't want to say, I was like, I don't know if she is indigenous or not. I, uh, uh, she's apparently claimed that she has some Cherokee descent, descent, but it has not been, it has not been uh, verified. Sure. Uh, <laughs> right. And, uh, and she's very blonde and blue eyed in real life. And I don't, not that that means necessarily anything, but you know, <laughs> yeah, she could be from Croatoa. We don't know. We don't know. Um, so, um, we find out that I guess the, the team, uh, broke up after that. Why? Great fucking question. I and, don't know. <laughs> and no one cares. And it's, here's the plot, right? This is where we actually get like what the plot is. And it's, and it wants to be, it's like, there's three plots and they're fighting with each other, but yes. it's more like they kill each other and then take over. And then the next one kills them. Like each plot sneaks up behind the throat of the other plot. Yes. Slits its throat yes. And then it becomes, I'm the plot now. And thinks that no one's going to kill it now like yeah. you know it's like i'm invincible uh the plot here is like someone's picking off members of the team and yeah. victor is missing and he might be dead too we don't yeah. know yeah but you're watching the movie going well victor is obviously killing it's everyone on the team obviously he's working for striker yeah yeah, yeah. It's, like that that yeah. is there, there's no doubt in any no one's watching this movie going victor's working for striker yeah like <laughs> Wait, Victor and Stryker are the bad guys? Um, Who could have seen that coming? Nobody. Nobody. Um, man, I'm just thinking of a version of this movie that opens on, like, you pick you pick, you pick, pick somebody. For, I think the shorthand for this is you open on like an X-Men. Like Dominic kill him? Yeah, well, no, I, I don't even think Do Dominic Monaghan, although I do like Dominic Monaghan a lot, and so that is effective in that he, you know, people, people Lord of the Rings. He was just in a show called... Um, Moonhaven that I thought he was so fucking good in. Mm. And so but there's a lot of affection lost, a lot of affection for that. So having him be killed is meaningful in that way. But like I think sure. you pick somebody like you pick somebody from the comics that's like really powerful. Uh. And then you have Victor kill them and you make fit you're like fucking Victor's a fucking scary ass monster. Yeah, yeah. Roll credits, introduce Logan. And then again, when when he's like Victor shows up, everybody realizes like God, that's what I want. I we'll talk about it later, but it's like I hope if the MCU does do Wolverine and they do saber tooth i really want it to be like the second like anybody mentions victor creed's name it's like oh, god oh, damn it Fucking, yeah what a nightmare <laughs> um exactly like why did we ever think this was gonna be a good idea yeah yeah and like and i want him to be huge and i want him to be like it's just like god yeah. no yeah. Um, i want him to be like i still have never gotten comic book like saber tooth saber again yeah. i hate to say it but the cartoon Mm -hmm. yeah. out of the gate here he is in his ridiculous outfit yeah but i love that outfit sal he's, i love he's it the, he's the first evil mutant we see in the x-men cartoon that's right he's on the news right. and he's just chucking cars well and i and i think and i think the the you know you go back to the recent comics you go back to um krakoa at the beginning of the krakoa era people like magnino and apocalypse and mr sinister look at each other and they're like sabertooth's a problem <laughs> Wait, he's such a problem. We need to throw him down a hole that he will never come out of. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's like, that's, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I want to feel that. Like, I yeah, want to be afraid of this character. I don't, yeah, I don't want to ever. My favorite make... X-Men. I want his ultimate enemy to be just like, it's a, I, I thinking about it like, um, in the amalgam era. Yeah. When everybody was joined up, of course they joined up Wolverine and Batman because like we, they wanted to make money. And I remember at the time thinking like in the context of this Wolverine and Joker being fused. Yeah. Makes sense. I, but I don't know it. if I buy it. And then I, I thought about it more. It's like, Actually, yeah. it, it very that is kind of Sabretooth. He's just a kind of a sadist. Like he just wants to hurt people. Yeah, no, like Sabretooth is just like I exist to to mess with you, Wolverine. Like that's yeah. what I do. That's that is so Joker and Batman. Like yes. I if you weren't if you weren't around, I would stop doing what I do. You know, yeah. and it's like that's kind of awesome. Like that that is that is some thinking. Back man, those guys, the Marks got it back then. The guy the yeah. guys in charge of DC and Marvel were both named Mark and <laughs> Yeah. And they live next to each other, so they were like, let's make a crossover. Like that's right. literally how DC and Marvel are Dude. Like, remember remember in Amalgam how they had fake letter pages talking about events <sighs> that, like previous like, events and stories that like never happen and never will happen and they're like yes. remember that issue and you're like this is yeah. someone's having fun everyone's mm -hmm. having fun they made trading cards yes I have them I oh. have them I don't know who do I need to bribe to get like a trade collection of all those Amalgam books man like I just I mean anyway yeah yeah uh, um okay they're not so the only one, by the way. In the industry, people are talking about it. I'm just saying, oh, like, God, no please. one's, no one's saying, no one's talking about it in the in in terms of it happening. But like, everyone who works at the at Marvel and DC who yeah. remembers it wants to see it. Not only do they want to see it collected, but they also want to do another one. Yes, like, everyone who works there please. wants to do it. The only ones who don't are the people in charge. Uh, the what, people in charge, it, of course, it is. It's figure out. Who's making the action figures? Is it McFarlane? Is it Hasbro? McFarlane? Give it, it's I McFarlane and Marvel and Hasbro. There's no way you're going to see that. Ugh, give me that Spider Boy, man. A fucking Dark Claw Spider Boy, fucking Super Soldier. God damn it. Anyway, McFarlane will never do it because he's uh, like, he's super covetous about like, he he will. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, he will never not, work not with another company. Yeah, God, it's not happening. Damn it. God damn it. I anyway, I know. Um, uh, if any of you kids out there don't know what we're talking about, fuck it. Look it up. Go I'm grab them. In, and like, I don't even, I don't even remember. I still have all four, four of the issues. I bought, I like, I bought in like gas stations. I bought Marvel yeah. DC. Um, anyway, wild, wild times. So, <laughs> um, Stryker comes to visit Wolverine. Um, uh, yeah, we just mentioned it. Victor kills, uh, uh, Dominic Monaghan, glowy light bulb guy. This good is scene. We, it's a good scene. This is where we established that, I guess. Sabretooth can like grow his claws out and I hate it. Oh, the claws. His his nails, he looks so stupid. I'm sorry. I know that his he does have claws and I get it. Yeah. It, it looks terrible. It's not intimidating. It's silly and I hate every minute of it. Yeah. And uh, they're trying to and they're pretending like that's as comparable. Wolverine's like snicked and then he's yeah. like, "Yeah. Yeah. I have Frito Lays on, the, on my tip." <laughs> yes. Or free, uh, what are they? Yeah, Fritos. Yeah, it's like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, like, um Funyun, no, whatever, the Bugles. He's got like yeah. Bugles. Yeah. Like there's nothing intimidating about this. You no. look like an idiot. And it's and, crazy. And Deadpool makes fun of him about it. Like yeah. at the top. Yeah. It's like Yep. You'll never walk away from that. Um, so Striker comes to visit Wolverine. Uh, there's this really stupid, it's just edited stupid. It's just dumb where like Looks real bad. Zero's like, you smoking on cigars, and he shoots the cigar out of his mouth. And and as a as a former editor, the, the it's baffling. The way it's edited is just oh, fucking confusing as fuck. It is confusing. Um, there's also redundancies, like when he says uh what he, he's like back to the car, and then Wolverine goes, Attaboy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. it's either or yeah, attaboy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pick one. Pick one and stick with it, editor. He gave oh. two takes. <laughs> you don't put both of them in there. So um, they're driving back. This is where Logan says the line, I'm the best I am what I do. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't in the he's, just, he's a pretty good dude throughout the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. It's cool that he says it because it's the only time I think anyone ever says it in anything yeah. live action. But you've wasted it. I really want. <sighs> no, we're not, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> um, I just I want I want a moment. I think my dream would be like if, if Feige calls me up and like X Men, what do you want? And it's like Wolverine is in the back burner. We really stat like we make a big deal that like Wolverine like the first time we see Logan, he's yeah. like planting vegetables in the X Mansion garden, <laughs> and people talk about like, well, don't make Logan mad. And people, the, whoever our introduction character is, like that guy. <laughs> he seems pretty chill and you and it's like the shark and jaws you just wait and wait and then finally you get a moment like logan 
Yeah. We need you to do the thing. And when it happens, it needs to be harrowing. It needs yes. to be like, oh, this is what we were talking about. Yes. This is a problem. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like, we're lucky he's on our side. One of yeah. those things. Yeah. Like, is he talking to somebody about this? Because this is <laughs> uh, scary. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, this all... Silver Fox tells a story about, we get a little hint. Uh, there's a jerk block in their car. We get a little hint of silver, like a, a little hint. It's a very heavy handed hint about silver, silver Fox's abilities. Yes. Which by the way, when we find out what they are, it adds a lot of confusion to the shenanigans we're pulling. If we could just control people's minds, what are we doing? And what are we even doing? Well, his chain, his like striker keeps like switching gears. Like, he's like, okay, we're friends. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll betray you. Oh, we're old friend. Why are you attacking me? And I'm like, the movie's bad, everybody. It's a bad, it's a, really bad, bad. it's a bad movie. Um, she back at home. Silver Fox tells this story. It's this uh, supposed to be this like Native American folk tale that is how we're introduced to Wolverine's code name. Sure. Uh -huh. Um, Sabretooth, even. I, in my thing, I have air quotes, I have quotes, kills Silver Fox. Uh, <laughs> I love how it's like, he didn't even look uh, like, he just, and then they, and then they go like, yeah, no, he didn't even look. Cause like, yeah. they, he just pours blood on her later. You're yeah. like, Wolverine no famously wound? has super senses and none, not one of them says this person isn't dead. <laughs> She's literally breathing. <laughs> No. oh fuck um yeah. they get this leads to a big fight between wolverine and victor where well victor stomps off wolverine's claws does look like it hurts i do like this scene sound logan shows up at a hospital and they're like he's got all these things and they open up his yeah. shirt and he's fine that's a good bit yep. um and then striker arrives and here's a missed opportunity i think i think what we're going for here and i think we yeah. could have done it better is Put positioning, and this would have been a lot better if it was Brian Cox positioning Striker as the anti Professor X. Yeah, I'm recruiting mutants for nefarious purposes as opposed to like really like do the X Men beats. Like, you could even take the beats from X1 oh, I love and that. reverse them with Striker, like everything yeah. X does, but it's and that and that helps explain why would Wolverine be weary in X1 because he's done this shit before. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. That's a great idea. Um. God, Sal. So I know. <laughs> Wolverine, Wolverine's in his bath, all right? He's getting ready to do the procedure to get the adamantium in. <sighs> and they have his dog tags and he's like, make new ones. And they print him new dog tags while he's laying in the chemical bath. Yeah. Well, because at that point, like they're in the chemical bath scene and they're like, we need to make sure that everything that we're referencing here happens. Like, yeah. you know, you have the dog tags, they have to say Wolverine. Even though I don't remember if they ever even say Wolverine on them, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I love how, like, for some reason in their brains, like, yeah, the top, it's like the stupid dice in the Millennium Falcon and Last Jedi. Does this icon iconography matter to anybody? Does anybody care about this? Right, like the you know the dice in the Millennium Falcon was an Easter egg. You weren't meant to see them. Yeah, like that was yeah. a reference to it being a car, like yeah, American yeah. Graffiti. That's yeah. not. That, it wasn't like these are Don Solo's special dice. That yeah. blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Yeah. And yeah, the chemical bath scene. Like, I think I think when that movie came out, people were like, oh, like Akali Lake. I remember that from X-Men 2. Yeah. But only because you're thinking of a better movie. Yeah. But it's just, but the dog. Like, I remember obviously the dog tags are an X1. It's like, do we do I need a scene like a scene where CG dog tags are being pressed into existence? Like, well, yeah, because we're going to put that in the trailer. Yeah, I guess so. I guess they <laughs> sure did. They sure did, didn't they? So I don't know. I didn't see that. I don't remember the trailer at all. But I, but I know that, like right. a close-up swirling shot of CG going doom Wolverine yeah. on it. You're putting that in the trailer. You're putting that in the trailer. So Wolverine takes his little bath, and um, we find out that they they can't do the procedure. Uh, they can't do the procedure with anesthetic because it doesn't work on Logan. So he feels everything. Uh, but I did think, which was like, yeah, that tracks. That's a good, you know, acknowledgement of how his abilities work. Although I did re think like he flatlines, right? And he's like, oh, is the movie over now? Oh, no, of course not. This is a prequel. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, I love how like Stryker like turns around sad. I'm like, you don't care. Yeah, you don't give a shit, man. Would it be, wouldn't it have been easier to kill him? Put the bone, <laughs> put the metal in him and then revive. He can heal. Yeah. So just kill him. Just stop right. his heart. Put the metal in him. Bring him yeah. back up. Yeah. Bless you. Pardon me. 
Bless you. Uh, I'm allergic to this movie. I do like I do like that they establish later. I don't know if this is in the comics, but I do I like that they establish later. A part of the rivalry with Sabretooth is that Wolverine is capable of doing this procedure and Sabretooth is not strong enough yes. to, to handle it. I don't I know like how that. one determines that, but I do like that element. <laughs> I do too. And like you can tell, but again, this movie tells doesn't show. Mm-hmm. There are moments like where um uh after Logan leaves. Sabretooth is like he, he anything you can do I could do better. That was yeah. the idea, right? And so it's like clearly he's he's Wolver- so Sabretooth wanted the adamantium procedure the whole time even though we don't get any sequence in which he says it or wants it uh yeah. to to indicate that. Uh, I also forgot to mention when like Sabretooth is like all right, let's kill these people and, and you know in the in the scene that makes Logan leave the team. Yeah. You know like it's there, there is no tension and there's no like sin- like there's nothing Wolverine is the good guy. There's no attempt to make any kind of like interesting storytelling. Like Victor Wolverine is like indulging Victor's every single whim and animalistic urge that he's ever had. Yeah. And then one day he's like, Hey, I don't want to kill these people. And Victor's like, how dare you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You've betrayed me. And I'm like, it's, it's the, it's literally the first time it's ever happened. Yeah. You know, it's just like, that's, you know what you're reminding me of? Did you ever watch um, the shield on FX? I'm Michael aware of the shield. No, I okay. So, uh, Michael Chiklis, Wal- Walton Goggins. It is. It is. Th- there's a. Um, uh, they do a really excellent job. Like in the first episode, they're the guy running the police station calls Vic Mackey, who's played by Michael Chiklis, yeah. Al Capone with a badge. And okay. it's like it is that. Like when I w- when I was starting to watch it, I thought it was going to be like a dirty, hairy rogue cop. It's like no, <laughs> Mackey is is a gangster. It's just his gang <laughs> happens to be the police. Like he's a bad person. Totally. But the issue is. Walton Goggins' character looks yeah. up to him mm. and very over the course of the series becomes a much bigger problem because oh. it is that kind of thing. Like I need to prove myself to Vic. So I overdo everything. Like every bad thing Vic does, I do do- double that. <laughs> gotcha. And okay. It's, it's like I, there, I think there's something you, if this movie cared about anything like that, there is uh. something you could do there. Like w- you could have done, because I like, why don't I have it in front of me? Who's the actor that plays Sabretooth? Oh, uh, Leave Schreiber. Leave Schreiber. I like Leave Schreiber. Um, I, he's been good in a lot of things. Uh, it is. This is the difficulty where the fact that Hugh Jackman is so big, it's hard to make a saber tooth that towers over him. Yeah. Um, but I could imagine like Leave Schreiber, like in this imaginary version where like we open with him killing somebody, and they're like, "Okay, we're going to do the procedure on you." Cut to the credits. And then yeah. later we see him, and he's like fucking massive and scarred up, and we realize like this procedure kind of fucked him up. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, sorry. I don't mean to keep trying to imagine a better movie, but I don't. <laughs> you I, can't help yourself. It's you know you're you want to help it. You want to make it better. Yeah. Listen. Let me just have a couple notes. Sorry. Um. <laughs> a few notes. So he wakes up. He overhears. God. Fuck, yeah. this movie's so bad. He overhears Stryker saying to erase. Pause. I'm so sorry. Sal, what does Stryker want in this movie? Right. What does he want? What is he looking for? Because it's like, okay, he wants... Okay, at, the end goal is to... I mean, because it's interesting. I, yeah, because yeah, I, I was not... That was not rhetorical. I literally... I really want to see if we can I yeah. di- diagnose what Stryker wants and the fact that you, like, had to stop on your tracks because, like... Because yeah. I was following you, like, okay, and by the end, like, wait. There is eleven, right? He wants what up at eleven. Fuck and is he doing he, with Wolverine? <laughs> right, why did he even make him that way? Like it's just prove that you could do it, you know, with a person who can't die, you know, a character with a healing factor. I guess that's what it is. But even then, like to what end? Like what's your plan? And I guess the idea is that like the plan was he still wants to make a weapon for the U.S. government. Yeah, right. Because he also kills a general for no reason, and it's like hilarious because we'll get into it. But like, you know. Uh, we need him to get to X-Men 2, even though like the movie for no reason will like f- flat out ignore whole characterizations of Stryker, but also remind you of them. You're know, like, yeah. I know you have a wife and a son and your son killed your mom or you killed your wife. And it's like, yeah. w- you remembered that, but you don't know what Brian Cox looks like. Yeah. And you don't remember that he had a Southern accent in that or had movie. glasses or yeah. any of those things. Like, I don't know, but like he wants, I think he wants to serve America and, in some kind of fascistic way i think that's the plan like i want to make a weapon that the u.s government will use yeah but it but it's like the whole time he's been doing that with like mutants it's been to get adamantium so yeah so he puts a team together to get adamantium yeah to make a wolverine while he's also 
collecting mutants together to splice their abilities together to make a weapon 11. Yes. So that he can then have this weapon to save America or to, pr to, to protect our interests? I guess that's the it's idea. Like mutants, because we say later that it's, a, it's basically an anti-mutant weapon is what he's going for. I see. So and he still does hate point, mutants. He asks Sabretooth to kill the other we uh, Team X members. Yeah. To trick Wolverine into joining him. God damn it. Right, but he's also using each member of the team's powers in Weapon 11 as well. And also, he even though he has Sabretooth doing this, he also has a mole that's living with Wolverine. Yeah. Oof. 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 It's it's Oof, not even everybody. convoluted. Like it's it, it's conflicting. Like it's it's not like it's overly convoluted. He's got a lot of layers. No, it's that's just conflicting information. They have all these ideas, all these it, it's you know what it is? There's six drafts this movie. Yeah. And they didn't like notice when they overlapped plot lines from different scripts. Oof. I think that's what oh. it is. They were just, is this one of those things where they were just shooting without one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we I'll get into that. Yeah, they started okay. one of those classic we start without a finished script and it's like God, we need have we not learned our lesson. We need, we, to, <laughs> we need to have like a thing in like a rule that's just you know while SAG and, and, and WGA is striking. Yeah. Uh get this in there too. You can't start production yeah, without, without a, a finalized script. script. I'm not saying you can't make changes on set or do rewrites, Hell but no. you need to have a a finished script. Yeah. God damn it. Um that being said, Iron Man was mostly improv, so like you know, you know, and Good point. But, but, okay. but you there, do feel there's a downy act. clause. Yeah, <laughs> you, do, you do feel, and but you do feel that in the third act where it's kind of like, oh, yeah. we didn't really build to the, what this is. Like right. everything, those first that's the first two acts are great. The third act is like whatever, um, what, whatever indeed. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Logan here overhears them talking about wiping his memory for unknown reasons. He doesn't have super uh, hearing later, but okay. How, how about now? Sure, Push underwater. And he goes berserker fighting everybody with his stupid gross cg claws yep um dude, huge they're so big um <laughs> yeah. and he's taken in by a kind of like old couple uh that give him his jacket and a motorcycle and whatever the costume he's gonna wear the rest they are murdered by okay. agent zero this all devolves into one of the dumbest action scenes i think i've ever seen yeah this whole helicopter motorcycle it's just egregious it feels like they were very impressed with themselves like it feels like they, I don't, I don't know. It, they went to like the Michael Bay school of like filmmaking where it's like every 10 pages has to be an action sequence, regardless yeah. of how, how, in, how nonsensical or stupid it seems you have to do it. And yeah. this scene, they were like really pleased with this. With and this it's, scene. it's really so, dumb. It's so ugly. It's just, all yeah. the CG, it's just such an ugly sequence. Yeah. And he kills agent zero. And um, now we get like this, it clearly like a uh, uh, reshoot scene where, a guy with no charisma walks up to Stryker and is like, the only way to stop Wolverine is you need to use an adamantium bullet. That was rough. Was part, fucking what? <laughs> that, saying, excuse me? The 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 adamantium bullet is the worst thing I've ever heard. It, it is 100% a studio note. Like, that is the kind of thing is the, the least creative person in the room came up with that. God damn it. Um, I mean, and, also, and it has like a loving case. Yes, they built a case for it. Also, Like Eddie also, Valiant's freaking gun... I, Box. I think it also introduces a, a plot hole later, but we'll get into it. Uh, yeah. So Wolverine goes to find Will I Am in Vegas, uh, where he's been training uh, Dukes to be a boxer or whatever. Dukes has quote unquote uh, developed an eating disorder. Yeah. Um. So now he's he's Blob. I don't. We've talked. I about thought his powers stuff. was Blob. Like, isn't Blob's power that he's fat? So, but he gets fat just for fun. Is it worse? What's worse? Is it worse that Blob's abilities make him that size, or right. that he, he just ate a lot and became the second one's worse? This is worse, right? This, this is, is worse. worse. This is worse. I okay, mean, all, right, all right, this is worse. This is much worse. This is worse. Because yeah, right. like yeah, no, no. Yeah. I loved in House of M after House of M when Blob loses his powers and he's just this yeah. thin dude with all his skin and he's like, "Help me!" And I'm yeah. like, "That's awesome." Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be yeah. Well, and because like also. Oh shit! Could you actually do something interesting with Blob, where it's like, because people different people have different body types. You know what I mean? That's something we're talking about more recently. And it's like, no, I'm actually I'm actually really healthy. Like I can do a lot of shit. I'm just this is my immune. This is how my body works. Exactly. No. Oh yeah. shit! Can we make? Could we do so? Can we make Blob work? I think, I think so. Yeah, I think oh, Blob God. could be an interesting character. The problem is he's a bad guy. 
that's true when they, that's just we've talked about when we were talking about pride of the x-men which if you want to watch that you can do that um, over at patreon.com slash only stupid answers that was our little test uh trial Ooh. episode uh where it is I, and grant morrison i think did did uh, a lion's share of resolving this but it is if you're gross or have some other body issue you're the bad guy <laughs> all the sexy mutants are the good guys all the gross ones are the bad guys yeah. Ooh, bob's fat gross bad guy get out of here toad get yeah, out of here toad. well uh, except for beak but yeah yeah, we got we got beep, we got whatever the blob dude is with his. Oh yeah, blob. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done. I, I, yeah, I really appreciate Grant Morrison going like, some of these powers are going to suck. <laughs> They're <laughs> yeah. not all going to be great. <laughs> you're not going to be Angel. Yeah, you're not going to be Angel. And again, I can't stress this enough. Uh, uh, enough. Even if I was born as Nightcrawler, I'd be like, this is actually a pretty sweet deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dope ass demon, yeah. and I can teleport wherever I want. It's pretty. The, sweet. the, the smell. The, the the sulfur smell of the teleportation not great yeah but i'm not regretting anything um no. anyway so this somehow devolves into a stupid boxing match between over him, over him not him. hearing him correctly that was oh really my good. god <sighs> um it's weird because also logan's reaction is like the audience's reaction yeah uh, like wait what He's like, i said you... up. <laughs> yeah no um Dukes reveals everything about the experiments and directs Logan to Gambit. Oof. Meanwhile, Scott Summers is scolding the class for sunglasses. Sal, where do we think uh, uh, Cyclops Scott. got his ruby quartz sunglasses at high school? I assume Professor X sent them to him. Got them in the mail. And now anonymously. Oh, my God. Um, uh, I don't know what this very far says. Ha ha ha, Tony. I remember the laughing too, Sal. Okay, so I have this weird like uh, um, Mandela effect moment. My friend okay. Ethan and I had this moment when we first saw Iron Man opening day in the theater. Yeah. We remember, and I'm sure I'm misremembering it now, but like I, I don't think it actually happened anymore. But like we were, we were convinced there was a scene when Jeff Bridges is Iron Monger and they're fighting, I and, and the two Iron Men are fighting, uh -huh. where he goes hua, 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 hua. like he <laughs>, laughs and it's really stupid, like it's yeah. and he laughs like hua, 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 hua. because it's like it's got the Jeff Bridges hilarious laugh, but yeah. also with the Iron Monger voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we and we like cackled in the theater, and then there's no other version of that movie where he laughs, where and he it's laughs, like, and you're like wait did that happen and i'm did like I, there's the only reason why i'm not 100 percent sure it didn't happen is because there's a shot in lord of the rings and fellowship where you can yeah. see car headlights and in no version in like available media or other re-release of that movie is that they, they took care of it yeah so it's well, like it's also like um I, there were some audio issues when across the spider-verse came out yeah. and they released a version that updated it but then also there were other changes like line readings and stuff yeah. it's like what is this but I, I i don't know but maybe they were like okay yeah the laugh is stupid pull that pull the pull the laugh, pull the, laugh. Uh, uh, the milkman says i can i can imagine leave schreiber as a better villain a better movie it's called into the spider verse very good kingpin very yeah. good he's also yeah. good in um uh he's been in a lot of wes anderson movies good he's good he's he's a good actor and i think he's good here it's just the problem and i think under better direction, we could have gotten something closer because it's in it's in the ballpark of what it's I'm looking almost for. there. I, I think he's terrible. Like, I think this movie is I think he's really stupid in this movie. Like he's he's unintimidating. He's yeah. he's goofy. Like he's he's having fun, but no one else is. Yeah. You know, like and I'm not having fun at his expense. It's just he's just like grim dark for no reason. His big stupid cake, like his kiss his coat. And he's just like, yeah, like when Wolverine snicks for the first time with real is oh shiny i'm just like nothing about this is fun or interesting i think he's like hamming it up but like it but but leave schreiber nothing about leave schreiber is hammy yeah so it's like watching the soup it's like it'd be like watching daniel de lewis ham it up it's just like it's not working yeah um, also his fangs he looks like an asshole he just looks like a stupid vampire well and they also saddle him with that stupid gallop oh like, my god yes I, whatever's going on they, so many uh, the, so mutants mutants have um, weapons abilities and also a predisposition to like crawling. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Your power could be you make playing cards glow, but for some reason crawling is a thing that you do too. Everyone does it. They all everyone do, yeah. crawls. Yep. Everyone has wire work. Um, yeah. I, you know, would, I wonder would it have been interesting if uh, spitballing here? Okay, we keep the opening scene as it is, except you have your tiny sickly kid. And then you have your like big mean kid. And yeah. then the reveal in that scene is the big mean kid is actually Logan. 
Right. And he's picking on Sabretooth. <laughs> yeah. And then through the war, and then like Logan kills the guy. I'm like, come on, we're getting out of here. And as we see the war scenes progress, we see the roles shift. Like, yes. like you're talking about, Logan gets more weathered yes. and tired. And Sabretooth, but Sabretooth just gets more and more Amped and up. more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I like that too. I, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I like the preservation of the comic where it's like Wolverine with the irony. Oh, Wolverine was a sickly kid, but then when he changed, he became like indestructible. But I like that with Superman too, where like we established that at, at some point pre puberty, because his body's adjusting, he actually was yeah. a pretty sickly kid right, before right. like the thing happened. Uh, mm -hmm. I also think that's something like that is key to Superman because I think you want to have him have some context of vulnerability. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, like, like I too, I know what, it, even though I'm not that now, yeah. I remember what it was like being be vulnerable. Weak. Yeah. 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 It's what makes Steve Rogers work. Cause he was the scrawny sickly kid. So it doesn't matter that he's fucking captain America. Now he's yeah. still that. He's still that guy. That guy's still in there. Well, he, 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 his personality calcified, before yeah. he became Captain America. Like yeah. that's yeah, no, exactly. Um Captain America is a good movie. Captain America first Avenger. Captain America movie. is a better Superman movie yes. than any Superman movie that's ever been made. Bummer. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. I just want I don't know if you've watched the new My Adventures with Superman and there's yeah, parts of it. Yeah, I've seen the first two episodes. It, yeah, because it's so anime influenced, there's parts of it that aren't for me. Yeah. But like I time. love the fact that there's going to be a whole generation of fans that this is their introduction to Superman because yeah. so many parts of the character like right. Like it's like right. yeah, this is and this is all I'm asking for guys. Just do the <laughs> thing, man. Just yeah. don't, I don't need Metamorpho in here. I don't need to make you, you to make him a grim dark brooding whatever. Just do Superman, guys. I know, I know. I I, I in in gun I trust in this case. I think the Metamorpho stuff, I think it's a lot of window dressing. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just saying if you wanted to make a another movie a bunch of goofy weirdos, just make a JLI movie. It doesn't need Well, to be a I think that's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Really, Sal? What makes you say that? I don't know. <laughs> like, it just feels like I, we've already got a blue beetle coming. <laughs> yeah. Um. God. Uh. I hope that blue beetle movie is good, man. Um. Anyway. Yeah, um. Yeah. So they go to Vegas. Will I am decides to go with him to to no wait no they're they're going to New Orleans now. They were in Vegas. They're going to New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, Scott Summers is attacked by Victor, who grabs him. Um. So. And again, we get another sequence where is I think it's Taylor Kish. I didn't have it in my notes. It is Taylor Kish plays, nailed it. Plays Gambit, and I think he does fine. But uh, initially, I was like, because I remember. So this was one of those things that I just my brain just like, nope, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you from this memory. Because <laughs> so it seems starts. And I'm like, wait, I remember not liking Gambit, and this is fine so far. Yeah. And then he does. Then he does the magic card shit and i was like like is that his mutant power i thought it was kinetic energy like oh! no, no no he can also go <laughs> yeah he also can do that and then it's not god the cartoon made it so cool yeah he grabs the cart and he charges it and he th and he could do that with anything it's just cards yeah. are cool and he, right. he throws them apart <laughs> yeah. but now it's like he'll like drop them in their hand and they'll shoot off like he's a fucking like, like card like it's a card counting machine like <laughs> yeah no i know it's terrible and like it's it's terrible in every respect because also like the movie is supposed to be like 20 years before the mm -hmm. main x-men movie so gambit will be like 50 by the time he meets rogue and it's like yeah. nope not gonna do that but like i don't know it's terrible it's terrible the the, the impulse of this wolverine movie to put like 97 different x-men movie like, characters in it is just like it's why insane. are you doing this why yeah. why are you making it about mutants and it gets more egregious so this somehow yeah. and this is another so it goes from wolverine fighting gambit to Wolverine fighting Sabretooth, to Gambit <laughs> shows back up. And he and stops Wolverine from killing Sabretooth. And the only reason is so that we don't kill him in this scene. We don't, we wrote ourselves yeah. into a corner. We have no idea how to get out of it. Like Gambit literally like up. he, we get the classic, like Wolverine elbows him unconscious. And then yeah. suddenly he's on the roofs. Yeah. Running up and he does this thing. And, and it took me a minute. It, it was so oh, yeah. that I had to remind my, like, why does he have this pimp cane? Right. And it actually took a moment to remember. Oh, Gambit has a telescoping telescope. He has a staff. He has a staff <laughs> that's not a pimp cane. No, it isn't. But they didn't what understand well, so that he could get it cut in half and then he could climb up a brick wow. surface with it. Damn like, it. He's that strong too? What are Gambit's powers in this movie? Because he what does are anyone's this, like, powers. He does this like shockwave. He does this like flip shockwave thing. And it's like, is this. A video game tie-in? Like, was this his, like... <laughs> He's not in the game, I don't think. I don't remember, but, like, yeah. What the fuck, man? 
Yeah. No, no. Awful. So Gambit, after all this, Gambit decides to fly him to where the, because the reason we're talking to Gambit is he was part of the experiments, but he escaped. So he flies him there. We get a few scenes where we establish Wolverine hating flying. I fucking hate it. He can heal. Why does he, why is he scared of flying? I think that's just, for them, that's like, that's ironic. You know, it's like, he hates flying. Ha ha. I thought that was kind of funny, but only because like, it's any thought. Like it's any yeah. kind of like character they're trying to put into the movie. If anything, he should be scared of what he does next, which is he jumps out of the plane. And as uh, I think it was um, Jason Aaron's run that established yeah. this. And we've since ignored in other things, but I think it makes sense. If he jumps in the water, he's metal. He's just going to sink and he can drown. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, I definitely. And uh, he won't get out. Like he'll just keep yeah. growing and then dying. Like Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, whatever. He jumps out of the plane into the water. Uh, and he breaks in the lab and uh, he faces strike, Striker and Striker introduces us to bum, 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 Deadpool, everybody. I can't. Uh, is this Ryan Reynolds in here? I think so. I can't believe that like you you have Ryan Reynolds, right? Like he's yeah. he's in movies. He's a big deal. And yeah. he's in and you put him in this shit. And it's just like, I, I guess that's why he has such an, a negative reaction to it. Like why he's. Because I mean, it's funny, <laughs> Tiffany, we're watching this movie, and she goes, man, this is terrible looking. She's like, yeah. man, I hope that in Deadpool Has 3... she never seen it before? She'd seen... No, she definitely saw this movie, but she okay. doesn't so remember. She... Sim- similarly, just like, I'm just going to all this off. <laughs> yeah, no, she's like, this is fucking horrible. Yeah. And like, she goes, man, I hope that in Deadpool 3 they address this in some way. And I'm like, they did in Deadpool 2. She's like, wait, when? And I'm like, in the post credit scene. She's like, yeah. oh my god. And so yeah. we watched it, and we had a great time. I'm like, this... and now... The only way to watch X-Men Origins Wolverine is if you then watch the Deadpool 2 post credit scene yes. immediately after it. It is so cathartic and it because you know that eventually they understand how bad that movie is. Yes. And and it's and it's crazy beyond the because obviously uh, me as a time at the time as a fan, everybody is like, wait, you sewed Deadpool's mouth shut? Well, and because I, they think that's funny. They're like, you you expect him to be the Merc with the mouth, but he doesn't have one because he wouldn't shut up. And I'm like, he doesn't even talk. He says like three lines in this whole movie. Yeah. But beyond that. Sal, you're a studio exec in 2009. Right. Why are you? What are the two reasons you're casting Ryan Reynolds? Right, because he His is face? sexy and because he is yeah. funny. And Let's... so we're going to put a bunch of bullshit on his face so it can be neither of those things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So apparently, it is Scott Adkins playing Ryan Reynolds in this Deadpool outfit. But it's it, but the the implication is we're we're we think we're looking at Ryan Reynolds' character. That does that makes sense because Scott because the Deadpool does pull off some uh pre- here pretty sick pull moves. Off some sick moves. It's like yeah, that's that I buy that Scott Atkins could do that. <laughs> totally, totally. But uh, yeah, no, you <sighs> wasted him. You wasted this actor who wants to be in your movie. That's the worst. Like you know, I can imagine it's uh, week two. Hugh Jackman's like, oh, the movie sucks. Damn yeah, it. damn it, we're gonna have to try again another time. Fuck. Uh, with Ryan Reynolds, it's like he wants to be here. Mm-hmm. He wants to be this character desperately, you know? man. He the, fans don't even know how hard Ryan Reynolds wanted his superhero franchise from Blade to Deadpool to Green Lantern back to yeah. Deadpool. Thank God it never worked out because we did get Deadpool and we got a re Deadpool inevitably. Yeah. But uh, and that's man. the best fit for him. That is, it's the that's the one. And, yeah, not Green and, Lantern, not, not Hannibal. Not. Yeah. So anyway, this we a bunch of reveals. We're gonna get a cacophony of reveals in this moment. Silver Fox is revealed to be alive. We find out again. I cannot stress this enough. We've gone out of our way to establish that this version of say uh, Silver Fox is indigenous, but her sister is, is a blonde hair, blue woman. <laughs> uh, we also reveal she has tactical hypnosis. Why didn't we just force Wolverine to fucking join? Do the anything? Team? I don't uh, know. There's also a great moment where he she tries to make Victor do anything and he's like yeah. your mind tricks to work on me and i'm like why yeah <laughs> for, for what reason <laughs> because because he's a hut like what's going on yeah exactly <laughs> i'm secretly i've been a hut this whole time yeah um striker activates weapon 11 who is wade who is deadpool um uh so they fight Right, and it, it, this is a, just another scene. Meanwhile, um, Silver Fox helps Scott Summers and the other kids that are uh, locked up escape. We get a yeah. look at, like, we get hints at, like, what appears to be characters like Banshee and Toad and Quicksilver. None of this matters. Um, nope. And isn't canon either. They throw that away. I mean, yeah. like, because I'm, like, literally, I'm literally pointing the screen going, now don't confuse this Emma Frost mm-hmm. with the Emma Frost of 1965. Yes. That's going to be introduced 
in X Men First Class. Literally the next movie that I think <laughs> comes out like a year, maybe a year or two years later. Like it's right. like surprisingly close <laughs> and yeah. down the pipeline. Um, while we're cutting back and forth, like Wolverine's getting his ass handed to him, and then at some point he's able to get enough distance that he's able to climb up a reactor. Yeah, for reasons. I don't know what in his brain how this benefits. He says it out loud. He's just like, "Let's see you teleport up here," and then he and does. Then he does, yeah. Like, oh wait, we also glossed over the fact that Wolverine frees all those mutants by popping the claws. And yeah. Then he just runs and cuts all the things in this. Really, there are a lot of like orchestral and chorus moments, and I'm like, stop. Yeah. Yeah. Just play Nickelback or something. Like don't yeah, yeah. don't don't get uh, like an orchestra in here to play a triumphant sequence. For, where Wolverine is literally just like knives solve all my problems. Yes, I'm just gonna run and cut these cut these things, and I'm like, and, and there's like three angles where he's running and cutting, and I'm like, this is embarrassing looking. And you yeah. guys are you guys are celebrating it like it's an achievement. Yeah, anyway. cut it out, yeah. cut it out. So they're on the reactor. Hooray! Hooray! Um, and we also glossed over that Will I Am gets killed. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Um, nope. Nobody. Nobody cares. It's sad, kind of, because he like he's the only character who actually actually personality in this movie. But you good know. point. Oh, good well. point. Um, then Sabretooth arrives. How? How does he get up to the reactor? How does he get up there? We assume he also does it by the similar means as as Wolverine with like his his silly Frito hands. But like I, I uh, mm. whatever. Terrible. I've given up on this movie at this point. And Sabretooth says, nobody kills you but me. All right. So they fight. Back Deadpool, to back. Back to back. Uh, we realize that he Deadpool has Cyclops eyes. I actually do not hate the idea of weapon. Like, this is a good final boss for this movie. I hate that it's mm -hmm. Deadpool specifically. Me too. me too. Yeah, it's terrible. It should have been. You know what that is? That's just them going, well, I hear Deadpool's popular. We'll use Deadpool. Yeah. Fucking! It should have been, especially since Agent Zero is the one that kills the old people. It should have just been Agent Zero. We should have just like made him like the guy, or maybe just stuck the fucking Sabretooth, man. That's enough. I don't need Wolverine yeah. to team up with Sabretooth at the end. No, no. But they really like this whole like brother thing. And frustratingly, looking at like reviews and stuff while I was watching it, because you can't not look at your phone while watching this movie, mm -hmm. is that um people like it a lot and it's frustrating how much they're like i mean look this movie is dog shit but you gotta admit that leave schreiber is amazing and the and the relationship between those two is fantastic and i'm like first of all how dare you suggest i have to admit that yeah, because yeah, yeah. i won't and i never will <laughs> and secondly nothing you said is in any like i don't know if it's rose tinted glasses or nostalgia goggles but either yeah. way you're wearing something on your face and it's yeah. distorting your vision this yeah. movie is freaking ass yeah uh Wait, so okay. they fight and they wolverine's able to decapitate deadpool while his eye beams are going on and they and go so on the whole time and cut down the whole damn thing cut down the whole reactor but apparently stop just short of hitting any of the other reactors that are right Ooh. next to this reactor so good, good job um so at this point striker decides that he's going to shoot logan with an adamantium bullet and somebody questions him on it and he's like his brain might heal but his memories won't grow back who 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 told you that? Where do you think that? What 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 evidence do you have to support that? There's none, none whatsoever. It's just well, we know we it, they're checking boxes. Oh yeah, he also has to be an amnesiac at the end. It, it's like it's like there was like a lawyer esque Marvel executive that showed up and goes. By the way, in order to make this fit, yeah, um, you got to have him not have memories at the end. He can't remember any of this. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. I remember at the Marvel. time what I thought might have been an interesting version of this movie is that you open with. Maybe early on, you open with Wolverine doing the Weapon X experiment, yeah. and it completely, basically, a, a good chunk of this movie, like, we introduce scientist characters, and for a good chunk of this movie, it's alien, but the xenomorph is Wolverine. Right. Uh, oh. And we get and we get flashbacks to how he got, like, the, the bulk, yeah. I guess the bulk of the movie with flashbacks of how he got here, but he's just picking off scientists in this lab, yeah. and finally, they're like, we gotta do something, and mm -hmm. they call in Creed, they call in Sabretooth. And in the fight with Sabretooth, Wolverine basically lobotomizes him with his claws. And that explains yeah. how why Sabretooth is the way he is in X1. Right. That his brain got fucked up by Wolverine. Like, yeah. like Wolverine like pops his claws into Sabretooth's head. Yes. And it never he's never quite right again. <laughs> yeah, that's why he doesn't say things or why he wants people to scream for him or why yeah. he cares about Wolverine's dog tags. Like, yeah. 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 It's just it's something it's... I just anyway, whatever. I just want something from this movie, guys. That's what I'm getting at. Just I just want it. something that me that means something. Yes, yeah. please make me feel something. Right. Um, so oh, where the fuck <laughs> are we? Uh so the things about he shoots him. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, 
there's this moment like uh Wolverine and Sabretooth, uh, they get this moment like as the literally as the reactor's collapsing, and Wolverine's like, This doesn't change anything. And Sabretooth's like, We'll never be done. We're brothers, and brothers look out for each other. And it's like, what conversation are we happening? <laughs> I was happy. What is right this? Now. That's two different, two different like it, it's like two different conversations took place and they cut to get to them together. Yeah. Um uh uh, uh, Lenny Laserdisc says, I think it's really important to show how Logan got his leather jacket. Uh, <laughs> great character, great character stuff, stuff, I guess. I guess. Yep. Um, gotta see how he gets it, and and he doesn't have it at the end of the movie, so I don't know. Yeah, it does, doesn't matter. Um, so the thing collapses, this debris is gonna fall on Logan. Gambit does this wild ass flip and hits the debris with his cane, and it explodes for reasons that I cannot articulate to you. I thought the cane got cut in half. <laughs> God, this and the cane's stupid to begin with. I just hate give it. Give him his fucking yeah. staff. Oh, son of yeah, a bitch. I know, I know. And they give him a stupid fucking fedora. It's stupid. Yeah, Every no. choice is the stupidest choice. It's the worst choice. And it's not even like it's a, a weird alternate comic book thing. It's just yeah. It's, it's the comic book thing, and then they went. But what if it was mine? Yeah. It's, every every decision in this movie is that is that extra swoosh in the eighty nine Batman logo. Yeah. God damn it. Um. So uh silver fox is injured um she's been and, injured since they get her out of the uh, since they get white queen out of the friggin' prison she's like yeah. go it's okay no like I'm, mm -hmm. i don't understand what this is a terrible trope of people being like i'll i'll save my dying for later mm -hmm. <laughs> I put pause on my dying for a second yeah um but before he can help her striker shoots him right in the goddamn head and i don't know about you sal it looks right where he gets shot in x2 and it's like, well, shouldn't there be a hole there? That, there there's no metal at that part no. of his head anymore. There's, yeah. The adamantium doesn't grow back. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. I agree. Stupid. Is he still I, the bullet? And it, no, does it? Does it no, it. it I think it spits it out. It's just okay. But it, but it hit his brain, and then it comes back out. I um, I I liked. There's one shot that I did like, and it, it's this weird kind of like. It's the only thing where they they they're trying to be creative. It's where he's like, he's like, Silver Fox, I'm going to save you. He doesn't call her that. I don't think she actually has called that throughout the entire movie. But no, like, no, no. he's like, I, honey, I think it's her last name. I think they changed the, her last name is something Silver Fox. Oh, great. Okay. No, it's terrible. But yeah. uh, she, he's like, I'm going to save you. And she's like, okay. Even though I've been like, she, she clearly, she's one of those characters where it's like, I've been hurt. I'm going to die. And I want to die because mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Because I'm done being in the movie. And, uh, <laughs> and he's like, hey, like, I'm going to save you. And she's like, okay. And I'm like, oh, like, now I want to be saved because Logan is validating my existence. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. and so he picks her up and they walk off into the sunset and then he gets shot in the head. And I'm like, that's kind of funny yeah. because it, it's like, this is the, this is the end of the movie. Like he saves, he gets the girl and he walks up into the sunset and then he gets shot in the head by a goddamn adamantium bullet with only six shots. Yeah. Stupid as hell. Yep. Uh, but it's also kind of like a joke. And I'm like, I, I don't even think it's even funny or I like it. I just appreciate that they're doing anything. Mm -hmm. I'll take, listen at this point, I'll take anything. Yeah, the adamantium bullets are so stupid. It's, so it's terrible. It's terrible. It's it's it was just it's a first idea. You know what it is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this reference. Uh, there's a show. It's amazing. It was on Sci-Fi. It was called Face Off. Uh, I was watch a bunch of uh, out of work makeup artists. Yeah. get yelled at by out of work makeup artists. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they and in one of them they were like, take a like a creature design and and fuse it with a real life occupation. Mm -hmm. You know, like a Dalmatian man firefighter or something. Yeah. And one of them they made was a shark lawyer and right. uh, it was a shark man in a, in his business suit. And they, and they also had to be in the element that they had. It doesn't matter. They threw him into a thing, a thing of water to see if the makeup would hold up yeah. and the suit, like, cause it was real cloth was filled up. He looked like a goddamn idiot. And this, the makeup uh -huh. wasn't even that good enough to begin with. And they said, shark lawyer, where'd you get that idea? And they're like, well, Dude, I'm looking at it right now. I fucking love this shit, man. <laughs> terrible. And they go, and he goes, well, you know, we were thinking like, like shark lawyer, you know, like lawyers yeah. are sharks. And then they just, they just edited in this long ass pause where they just stare at them because it's like, and that is what my metaphor is for a first <laughs> idea. Every time I hear of like, I hear this idea where I'm like, adamantium bullets, he's got six shots and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that is a shark lawyer. That is a first yeah. idea. And, and you can't defend it. Right? Yeah. It's like, why, why a shark lawyer? Like, but why'd you think that was a good makeup? And like, well, because you know, you told us to, to merge two things. And we think that you know, people call lawyers sharks and show what about a shark lawyer? It's like, what do you work for? Asylum? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we? What are, what are we doing? I, like I think that. it's Sharknado. Yeah, you know, this is a real. This is a real shark lawyer. I like that. We're keeping. Thank it. you. We'll use it. It's in the canon of the show now. We're using it. <laughs> shark. Uh, we'll, we'll get plenty of opportunities to use it. So X Men's gonna have a lot of shark lawyers. In this. A lot of shark lawyers. God damn it. Um. 
uh, so Striker's about ready to kill Servo Fox. She uses her powers to make him walk until his feet bleed. It's one of those like I can make you kill. I can make you kill yourself, but then I'd be no better than you. It's like I think you could. I, I think, think you probably might want to go ahead. And do <laughs> I think it. you're in the clear, man. What about it's, all the people he murdered already? What about your yeah. own kind that he murdered already? What about all the people he'd kill later? Like yeah. what are you talking about? It's the same thing with like Batman. I support your no kill rule so that you're yeah. not killing like a poor drug dealer who's just trying to make rent for, for his pregnant wife. Yeah. But the Joker, I think you can drop off a bridge, man. I yeah. think you're in the clear. Like. <laughs> I Absolutely. think if you if you're somebody you're gonna break your rule for somebody, I think Joker's an okay one Joker's to do. Joker's an exception. We're yeah. all on board for you killing the Joker. No one's gonna they're gonna throw you a parade. No, they might yeah. not even throw you a parade, but at least they will, you know. Yeah, it's like oh my god. Anyway, um, so he walks until his feet bleed. Uh, poorly, DH Professor X shows up to help the uh, captured mutants. Um, it's horrible. It, it looks horrible even by it looked horrible by those standards back then. Yes. Yes. Um, Gambit comes to grab Logan, but he doesn't remember anything. And I guess Silver Fox just died from her injuries. Yeah. Um, and Wolverine decides to go his own way. Um, it was great because he's like, come on, we got to go. And then they start to leave. And mm -hmm. then he pauses to look at Silver Fox's body. And then he goes, come on, we got to go. And he goes, I'll take my own way. What There's nothing in that that suggests that he shouldn't have gone with it. Like nothing happens. Like yeah. it's just, weird it's it's a weird decision and because we're in a post iron man world we get post credit scenes so the first one is striker walking and he's just picked up it, it's weird because they 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 treat this like it's comeuppance for him like he gets picked up like we want you in questioning for a general you killed earlier and it's like i know Bitch, i know by at the time of x2 he's even higher up in the government man yeah he, he is promoted he he gets to have an audience with the president alone yeah. like what are you talking about he gets un, unfettered military access to invade a school nothing he never sees any repercussions for this there's no reason for this so when i when this movie came in theaters i remember it having there's another post credit scene and i remember there's two versions of it the one mm. i what version did your movie have the one I had was that uh, Deadpool's arm grabs his face and like caresses it, and then the eyes. Open. So was that in theaters or when you just watched it last? That's night? the one I just saw. I don't rem I remember. I thought I remember there being a Deadpool post okay. scene in the theaters, but I don't remember. That I remember that in theaters, and I, and that was one of those. That was one of those that like, okay, maybe next time, maybe right. maybe we'll get it right next time. You know, yeah. like um um. But the one, and I don't, I don't think I saw this in theaters, but maybe I saw it. Like I looked it up later. This is what I yeah. got when I rented it. Okay. And this version is Wolverine in Japan drinking, and the waitress is like, yes. uh, uh, drinking to forget, and he's like drinking to remember. Yeah. And it's one of those. And this that was be... in the movie. That was in the theater. I remember that vividly. Yes. Yeah. And and again, it's another one of those that like, maybe next time. You know, maybe yeah. maybe then. And and truthfully. I like the Wolverine way. This is a low bar. I like it way better than this movie. <laughs> the Wolverine is a movie. Yeah. This yeah. is not. Yes. This um, is a movie loaf made of other movies. Oh my God. So that's. That's the movie. Sorry, everybody. That's the movie. Uh, that's the one we got. Um, we got in the chat. Ray Farr says, man, what a great game though. I got, I'll try it. I guess I'll try it. Yeah, it. try it. It's cool. I played it on the 360. I, I think it probably isn't available anywhere else, but it's, it's a, it's a fun game. You will be, you'll be, you'll be alarmed at how much fun you have playing that game. you will be like, Dude, annoyed. I remember there was a whole, the original, um, Eric Banna Hulk movie had a game with it where the game, I, I need to revisit the yeah. angry Hulk movie. Cause I feel like oh, it yeah. might be better than I remember. Cause at least it was trying stuff. I but remember the, it being better than I than it than it was when I saw it again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I remember the game that came the game that came out with it was actually pretty enjoyable. So sometimes, yeah. occasionally the games will be better than the movies they're attached to. Really fair, but yeah. So real quick, we're running long, so I'm not going to try and linger on this other stuff. But we'd like to do another segment where we talk about new mutants, where we talk about uh, the uh, characters that were introduced in this one. And I want to focus. There's a bunch. Yeah. But let's focus on Sabretooth uh, and gambit you know what i'm gonna skip over this we've talked about this stuff i mean well, the fact is no one is good yeah. as their character and they never use anyone except for professor x yeah yeah in, so in any think, sequels i think and maybe we'll do this merge for moving forward i might merge this with a new x-men where we're like how is the mcu gonna do these characters because the answer to all these questions is they did bad so the question then becomes how do better how do, how we do, do better? better how, how do better 
So let's just skip right over to X Factor with a little bit of behind the scenes stuff. Please, yeah. I mentioned earlier that Zack Snyder was supposed to, uh, was offered to direct it and he decided to do Watchmen instead. And I just Ugh. really desperately want to see the Snyder Wolverine movies. Like yeah. that just feels like, it's, Snyder shouldn't be doing Superman. He should be doing Wolverine. That's the fit. That's the yeah. that's the good stuff. Um, David Benioff, I I am a Game of Thrones finale apologist. I think there's problems in those last few seasons, but I think the finale itself is actually solid, and I think yeah. does pay off the story that they're telling. Mm -hmm. um, realizing that one of the Game of Thrones showrunners co-wrote this movie made me re like, well, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe, <laughs> but apparently he had pursued this project for over three years. And his script was rewritten by Skip Woods, who in the chat we were just reminded wrote Die Hard 3. So maybe it's five, not five, 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 five. Sorry. Three maybe, is fun. That yeah, five. Is fun. Sorry. It's sacrilege. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it's not, maybe it's not Benioff's fault. Maybe we can lay it at uh, uh, Skip Woods' feet. I think so. And there were last minute rewrites by James Vanderbilt and Scott Silver before the. 2007 2008 writer strike. Oh, another casualty. Yeah. <sighs> This this and um oh my god Benioff wrote for 25th hour I loved the 25th hour I don't I've never seen it oh, I've man. never seen it's, it I it was it I think it's the first movie that was made after 911 or like set in New York anyway and it's yeah. it's so good I don't remember if it's good anymore but I loved but it you loved it well and also um um the speaking of the writer strike uh, the other movie that that was heavily impacted by this is Quantum of Solace but that I will say this because I rewatched all the Bond movies before No Time to Die, all nice. the Craig Bond movies. Yeah, and Quantum of Solace is infinitely more watchable than this movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> infinite, <laughs> I believe it. It is. Yeah. It is the worst of the Craig Bonds. Uh, Spectre's not that great, but it mm. is. Uh, but but it is infinitely more watchable than this movie. Fair. Um, like we mentioned, the script was not finished before filming, and they were getting new pages sometimes the night before the oh. day they were going to film it. It shows. Um, and apparently there were significant disputes between Hood and the producers to the point that like Hood was going to leave the production and Richard Donner, director of I Superman. I saw he's a, he's a producer on this. I saw yeah. his name and I'm like, that's not Richard Donner from Superman. Yeah. And he's married to Lauren Schuler Donner, uh, who, Laura Sh uh, Lauren Schuler Donner, who is the X -Men producer on those producer. movies. I didn't and, realize that. And he had to come in and like calm like, everything like, down. Come on, everybody. We're making a movie here. Yeah. He had to negotiate. Oh my god! And it's just like, oh, man, I don't, dude, I don't fucking know. It, but it's, I wanted some sort. Give me and it, give me how, man? Like yeah. how did everybody look at this and was like, "Yep, good." Like this, is, this movie. Yeah. Take any all the criticisms of the current MCU phase four. Right. Think about your least favorite MCU movie, whichever Thor that is, <laughs> and and like, I really didn't enjoy Thor: The Dark World. I would rather watch that than this movie. That's how bad this movie is. Or the Dark World is cohesive and yeah. the characters are considered like no. Christian the Dark Bale's World's a real doing movie. shit in it. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're thinking of uh, oh, you mean the fourth one? Yeah. Oh no, no, that's right. I'm sorry. Love and Thunder. But, but Dark Thunder. World that too. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but Love yeah. and Thunder is one. I think yes, yes. I would rather watch Love and Thunder again, yeah. but I wouldn't watch it a third time. Yeah, like, man. Um, but it's just, I saw it the one time. I'm like, I'm really good on this. It's movie. just like this is embarrassing. Like this is like I think this is like worse than Catwoman. Embarrassing, and maybe just it's more the. Pedigree. It's on par. Like, it's in the same. It's in the same bracket. Like it's in the same genre. Like the genre of misstep superhero movies. Yeah, like, and I guess maybe the reason this hits harder is like Hugh Jackman's here, guys. Like you've had you've had at least two good movies in this franchise. Like at least Halle Berry's was a one-off misfire. Like at this point, you guys should know how to do this. <laughs> it's true. And like Hugh Jackman should have had more power. Like, I think that Hugh Jackman has never, I don't think Hugh Jackman's produced a movie. So clearly like he's not, you know, it's not like Chris Evans or somebody who's yeah. like, I really want to be like Ben Affleck. I secretly want to just direct. Yeah. Like Hugh Jackman just wants to show up, be hot and get his paycheck and, we, and maybe, and maybe sing. Yeah. And maybe sing. wait, are we learning? Cause I think we had a similar conversation with uh, X three where he had yeah. like sign off on the director. Are right. we learning that Hugh Jackman should be more of an asshole? Like dude flex more. I, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's like, more. <laughs> you, like he should have been like week two been like, you know what? I'm not showing up until there's a, until there's a better script. Yeah. Like, like you got, you guys can all shoot your scenes if you want, but like, I won't be in them. Yeah. Yeah. Like I need, I, yeah. Wow. Weird. Like I thought I'd never say this, but Hugh Jackman, take a look at Tom Cruise. And right. See what he did with mission impossible. Seriously. Just going, Hey, yeah. we're, we're getting it. We're come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on. We're Wolverine here. Yeah. You know, 
thinking like the Toad spinoff here. All right, like we're making a movie, people are gonna go see. Sal, you just you, you just planted a seed in my brain that now speaking of Game of Thrones, now I have now I have head cannon that if yeah. they don't do in the movie, I'm gonna be pissed. Because you mentioned him singing Hugh Jackman. For people that don't know, Hugh Jackman started in musical theater before he became Wolverine, yeah. uh, and he's very good at it. He's very, he's very good he's at great. it. He's great. Yeah, no. He's Deadpool great. is the per. They should give him a musical number in Deadpool three. Oh my god! If they don't give him a musical number in Deadpool three, what the fuck are we even doing? It's true. I agree. Because I, I was like, I'm now, sure. now, but you know, musical episodes of Flash and stuff like you could get away with that. And I'm like, you no, get away Deadpool. with it, especially in Deadpool three. Yeah. Yeah. Start the fan petition. Let the fan petition. Let Hugh Jackman sing in Deadpool 3. Yes. Yes. Maybe not in the yeah, uh, maybe in the green, maybe in the yellow suit. I I'd take either one. Whatever. <laughs> it could be an alternate version of it if we want to play that game. It could be a it yeah, could be everyone a, sings. Uh, exactly. We're in the singing reality. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> what so I, I think often have you seen MacGruber? The movie yes. MacGruber. I haven't okay. seen MacGruber. I've seen MacGruber the sketch. I've never seen okay. MacGruber the movie. I, I cannot recommend enough watching MacGruber the movie. It is so yes. fucking. I remember I like a lot of people because it didn't do well in theaters. No. I was like, don't. This is not. This sketch is not funny enough to turn into a movie. That's how I and felt. Then, yeah. And then I saw the movie and it is fucking hilarious because it's just a send up of all the 80s action movies cliches. That's great. It's fantastic. But there's a moment where. MacGruber just fucks up everything, and he's and he's he's obviously teamed up with a straight man played by Ryan Phillippe um, uh, to play off of. And there's a mm -hmm. moment where they're supposed to be bonding, and Ryan Phillippe is like, "No man, and MacGruber's feeling down on himself. He's like, "No man, you taught me a lot. It was all what not to do, but that's yeah. still an important part of the learning process." <laughs> and I feel like that's that's what when we talk about new X Men's, where we talk about what we think the MCU should take away from this movie, and yeah. I think all the lessons are what not to do. <laughs> Absolutely. No, this should be like, you know how uh, Kevin Feige is like, everyone's got to watch Superman from Dick Donner so that they yeah. know how to make, they sh and everyone's got to watch X-Men Origins Wolverine. So yes. that we, back because to back, you start, what to do, what not to do. <laughs> because I can imagine, can you imagine like you're, you're making, you're making the MCU, right? You're making another yeah. Marvel movie. We're making the Marvels folks. Um, but before we get started, uh, we're only going to have a big cast screening for, uh, we're going to have a cast and crew screening for X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah. And then everybody go, oh, is Wolverine going to be in this movie? Like, no, 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 don't get any, like, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no subtext here. Just watch yeah. the movie. Watch the movie. Movie's over. I want everyone from mm. every level, from cameraman to PA to gaffer to, to, to Brie Larson. Yeah. If you start seeing any of this shit happening <laughs> on the set, yeah. you call a cut. Yeah. You know, you say, you say snicked, and then mm -hmm. we all take five and yeah. we reassess what we're doing here. Like that should be the standard. <laughs> Please don't let us make an X-Men Origins Wolverine. We don't want to be the X-Men Origins Wolverine of the MCU. Because we already have two of them at least. Yes. Ant-Man 3 is pretty good for that. <laughs> yeah, is 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 pretty is is close. Pretty high Ant -Man 3 is as close as I want to get to an X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's dangerously close. W w Thor Love and Thunder and Ant-Man 3. Yeah, they're close. Wow, is Thor Love and Thunder worse than Dark World? It is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. God damn it. That's it's a bummer. So, it's so bad they've paid off plot threads in it in Endgame. <laughs> Like, God, like you know. Thor, Love and Thor: The Dark World gets more like retread action than most of those movies. God damn it! Oh yeah. Anyway, um, that's a that's a I you know I felt although I will say having rewatched those movies sometime during the pandemic, mm -hmm. I I actually I also think Thor one is actually worse than Dark World. I think it's Thor not 1, great. Thor, Thor one is rougher than we give it credit for. It's pretty it not good. It uh, is not good, but it's you know it's 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 quaint. Yeah, you know what I mean, like we're making a Thor movie. I can't believe we're even making one. Yeah, um, but all those Dutch angles, I, I don't understand what that's all about. The weird affectation that you know was like Ken Brano's idea of having Natalie Portman keep saying "Oh my God" because there's a God in the movie. Far, mm -hmm. like, yeah, and and then they throw it away instantly. It just, man, it just shows that like Ragnarok was a fluke. It was just a, it was just Complete. a. Just, a, just lightning in a bottle, an accident. Totally. Um, Thor works in the Avengers movies pretty well, though. Anyway, um, I like him a lot in those movies. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, thinking about the MCU, I'm thinking yes. about. I think the two big things we haven't talked. We've had a lot of discussion about Wolverine in this in these shows. Yeah. I think when I'm thinking MCU, I'm thinking what do I want for Sabretooth, and I have in my head what I think is close to perfect fan casting, and okay. this is just cemented after seeing Fast X. Mm. I think Jason <laughs> Momoa. Yeah. Would be a really good saber tooth because you I, want somebody that has that that physically intimidating, right? 
and and is having a blast creating a body count. Just yes, what they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree. I think he'd be amazing as Sabretooth. I think he'd because he'd have fun. He'd be a like he knows. You know, I'm I'm on board. I don't even need to justify it. I would like to see Jason Momoa as Craven the Hunter, but since we're never going to get that, I'll take him as Sabretooth. Uh, but that's that's like that's a no brainer because Sabretooth is one of those things. Uh, as far as you know, putting aside casting, I want Sabretooth to appear like he did in the cartoon and the in the 90s mm-hmm. comics where he would just drop in yeah. and like Wolverine be separated from the group and then Sabretooth would show up and be like I'm gonna ruin your day and I, just like and, and he's like why and he's like you'll never know and then leave yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> I'll truly, I actually think that'd be if in any Wolverine movie I think you could get a lot of mileage out of the opening seat with Wolverine's at a bar or something right right yeah he shows up wrecks his day and the events of that fight force Wolverine to reflect on whatever that is what our movie's about. Sabretooth yes. doesn't show up again. No. Sabretooth's not the villain. Right. He just, it's just he's one the catalyst. Of the, he's the catalyst. And maybe the movie ends with like Wolverine's grown as a character and then it ends with Sabretooth shows up again. But now we hope maybe Wolverine will do better this time because of what he's learned throughout the movie. And then yes. hey, uh, roll credits. We don't see that fight. It's like a Sylvester. It's like Rocky v. v Creed. Yes. And, and, and oh yeah, and, no. You uh, end it Rocky with Creed. yeah. You end it with like Sober Dude's back, and Wolverine's yeah. ready for him. Yeah, I agree. Question: Because you and I are both keying off the X Men animated series. Yeah. And I am reticent to ever suggest overuse of CG. Right. right. Do we want? Is Jason Momoa physically imposing enough, or do we want to like? CG him up a bit so he's kind of, <laughs> he's like he's a fucking monster right I don't know I don't I don't I don't want it because it gets silly like when people get when you when you CG up a character to make them big like yeah like big it can get real silly and if you know because we've seen Jason Momoa too many times he's been in too many like tentpole franchises like yeah. I know what he looks like yeah, you know what I mean? so it's like with, with like when he's if he ever becomes Lobo yeah just put him in white makeup and make him Lobo. like don't give him like extra shit you know yeah like just make him just make him moa with white lobo with with like just you know yeah with 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 primer on maybe yeah Uh, maybe you could give him the running makeup thing to give the 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 blacks part around lobo's eyes maybe that's yeah yeah yeah, that's fine just do do lobo (laughs) yeah i think that if if jason moa was just saber tooth like it was just his savagery is in his actions and his in his acting i think i think you get it especially if you you don't make a seven foot tall wolverine (laughs) yeah exactly um um I think that's a good point. I also a good a good point of reference, and maybe it's, I, I don't want to ding Lee Schreiber too much because it is part of the movie that he's in. But um, I think back to Tom Hardy as Bane, yeah, because Tom Hardy is shorter than Christian Bale, and you don't feel it in that movie. You're like, no, you like, don't you see Bane. You're like, that guy's gonna fuck Batman up. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He doesn't. It doesn't seem. You don't lose any sense of danger from him no it's yeah. uh, it, it, jason moe would be just a scary uh a, a scary saber tooth all by himself he doesn't have, he doesn't even have to have all the things you know like the big mane on yeah. his suit like we don't need all that like well, I, mean, I think you could get away with the the jacket with the fur on it i think you could get away with something like that but I, yeah but i think you're right just the physically imposing and now that i've said it like i know tom hardy's at venom right now but he would also probably do a pretty good job as Wolverine as, as Sabretooth. As, oh, Sabretooth. He would yeah. he would do a good he would do a good Wolverine. I think he's probably a little older than they're looking for. Yeah, I think um, so too. But I think yeah, I hope so. Because they keep looking for they're like, all right, we've cast our new character. He's only 55 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be I don't three. know who you get for Wolverine. I feel like I feel like um I don't know. I Daniel like Radcliffe was my pick. Really? Yeah, I think it'd be really fun. The height? No, no, no. I think he's really I think he's a good actor, and I think he's like I think that he's been trying to wash Harry Potter out of his mouth for like his entire career, right? Doing yeah. like guns and Kimbo and stuff like that. And I, the, the you know, light uh, Swiss army boy. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, but I think the only way you're going to do it is by being in another franchise. <laughs> Let them fight. Let the franchises fight. Let the fans exactly. fight. Like, he's Wolverine. He's Harry Potter. He's, you know what I mean? Like, and then he'd he's- be, the yeah. next Nathan Drake, you know, just when you reboot it. Yeah, yeah. He's real good. I like Daniel Radcliffe. He's I good. Like, and he, I, and I he wants to be scary. Like, he wants to do that. I'm like, I know boy. people fan cast Taron Edgerton, which I never saw until I watched Blackbird. And mm. he's got physicality for it. But yeah. I don't know that he has the presence. You need mm. somebody, truthfully, and this kind of undermines what we were talking about with, uh, although they, they already have chemistry. Yeah. 
as I watch stuff, I think, honestly, I think the per person that could really embody it really well is Henry Cavill, if you've seen mm. him in Witcher. Oh, yeah. No, Henry Cavill would be great. He's just a good actor. I do. It's so fun. It's such a bummer, man, because it's like, I he never really moved the needle for me in the Superman movies. But then yeah. at the end of Black Adam, that right. one scene, I was like, wait, could he yeah. be a good Superman? And then <laughs> something like The Witcher... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking doing that show when he's gone. Like that's he's the one holding that show. That together. whole thing is gonna fall apart. Yeah, there's no way because it's like the other actors in it are good. I don't. The show is not my favorite, but Henry Cavill is so good in it that it's yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna as long as he's in it, I'm gonna keep watching. Totally. He's. I know he's taller than everybody wants, but I. I will say his body type. He's less lanky than Hugh Jackman. That's he's true. Got, he's got a bulkier build that fits my view of Wolverine more. I agree. I don't even really, you know, it's funny. I think of Wolverine as being buff, but I never really like, I don't care about my superheroes being like rippling, like, you know, yeah. like they, they, they did all this work to make themselves into this physical specimen. Like I, the fact that you put Wolverine into a head to toe yellow suit in this Deadpool three movie, like he doesn't need to be buff at all. He doesn't even yeah. need to show off his arms. And it's like, he looks like Wolverine. You nailed it. Like yeah. they all, if you actually stick to the script and when I say script, I mean source material. And when I say yeah. source material, I mean comic books. Yeah. When you stick to type, they don't need to look, the suit will, you know, there's muscles built into the suit, right? Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. don't need them to be like shredded. But um, all I'm going to say, Sal, is look at the yeah. cutout behind you and look at Wolverine's arms in his, proportion his, to his torso. He does need to be like, and tell, and tell me Henry Cavill couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, he, could do he could do it, but I think my boy could do it. I think Harry Potter's got it. I think he could, I think if you get him like, <laughs> just that yeah. little like yeah, yeah. I, I think he'd do it i think you know people would call him honey badger but i think he'd be dope be but dope. i like Henry right. Cavill too i'd be okay with that too okay and then like, before we before we wrap this section section up what are we going to do what are we going to do about gambit i actually really liked there was a long time we were talking about channing tatum doing it i actually think no that, no i hate channing tatum and everything i could not what? Imagine what about uh hateful eight because he yeah, had a little bit of that. He ruined the movie. <laughs> all right. All right. It was weird. It would be like if Pee Wee Herman showed up in that movie. That's how it felt. It felt like, it felt like, and special appearance by Channing Tatum. I was what like, about, what did is you see, uh Did you see Logan Lucky? No, 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 no. Maybe, I don't know why I'm trying to like get you Sell on, on Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Grand, but see his work with Steven Soderbergh, uh, the first Magic Mike, uh, Logan Lucky. Um yeah. Okay. 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 So you're not. I'm. I'm good with Channing Tatum being okay. being Gambit. I know there's rumors of him being um, in Deadpool three. Although wow. that that's giving me that's that's triggering me and making yeah. me think about uh, Nick Cage in the Flash. Right. Like, or cut Doctor it out. Strange and all of the cameos yeah, for no we reason. To, we need to fucking cut it out, guys. But but yeah. so okay. So for you, what do we do about Gambit? You got to do the intro. I mean, like Gambit is one of those things where you could, uh, his, his original intro was he was almost a bad guy. Right. Yeah. And like, that's kind of fun. I also love Gambit just showing up like the, the intro in the cartoon where he's just flirting with a woman mm -hmm. and then he just, wa and he saunters out of there. Like, Oh, I think I hear a big giant robot messing with my friends. I guess I'll be right back. Hold that thought. Yeah. And just walking out there and just whipping out like, yeah. Cards animated and series Gambit is cool as shit, man. <laughs> animated, animated Gambit's, uh, transcends the comics because mm -hmm. I don't think they've ever touched him again. Like yeah. honestly, like Gambit, like Gambit had a solo series that looked great and was horrible. Yeah. Uh, and Gambit, they never, never, they never knew what to do with him after yeah. like the success of Gambit. Yeah. And Gambit never transcended the image of Gambit. And yeah. the cartoon was the only one that kept paying it forward. Here's here's that Gambit. Yeah. That's the Gambit you need. Like you need to just ape on that. Now I don't know. I don't feel like that Gambit really even fits in with the X-Men, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, I don't see him, like, sleeping there. I don't see him yeah, going, yeah, yeah. you know, you know r attending role. Uh, but um, I've been wrong before, and I would like to see that. But I want, like, cartoon Gambit, which is basically just, like, the first three issues you ever see of Gambit in the comics. Mm -hmm. like, that's fine with me. I think you that's brought up something interesting, though, because it's something I, I thought was really effective in X-Men Evolution, and it's been a minute since I've seen it, but I remember it took a minute. They built up to, um, I think it was the Acolytes, because we had a version of the Brotherhood early on, and then Magneto had his team. And yes. what was interesting about the team is that characters like Colossus and Gambit were on it. Right. It suddenly made you like, wait, but they're the good guys. You know what I mean? Like, so, <laughs> yeah, I know the so I think there's I think there could be something really like doing that, like having traditionally good X-Men characters be on a quote unquote antagonist team or villain team, and yeah. Gambit might be a really good fit for that. Totally. I love the idea that Gambit's an acolyte, but I also wonder, like, I don't think Gambit believes in anything. 
you know so do, i think like seeing gambit roll in with magneto he'd be like why am i like he would only I, do it for a woman like the only reason why i think gambit's even on the x-men is because of rogue i you're, you're kind of selling me on gambit even more because one of my favorite character traits in a character is somebody that just doesn't want to be there like yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of the things that's so obviously there's a lot to love about andor but what really ingratiated me to andor the character in that show and it's like is his desire like i don't want to be involved all right <laughs> i just want to be left the fuck alone yeah i find that so relatable it's like i don't i don't give a shit i just just leave me alone yeah, yeah, and it's one of the reasons I think Ash from Evil Dead is one of the greatest protagonists in movies because that is his whole modus operandi. Is like I just, I really just don't want to be here. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. an asshole with a heart of gold. I just really no, I just want to leave. Want to yeah, the Deadites are in the way of the exit. That's the only reason why I'm exactly. why I'm killing them. Um, so I like this idea of Gambit. That's just like. I'm not a sides person. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to do what works best for me. Yes. And I, but I do. And even though you're right that he might not be team Magneto because team Magneto is, is very Those like zealots. They believe zealots. in him. Yeah. I do like the idea of whatever our villain team is. If rogues on hero team, like maybe we can introduce rogue through the, yeah. I'm worried that we're not going to do rogue because we've done it before, but it's like, but you have, you could but you do have rogue nice Marvel now. You have exactly. Captain Marvel. You could do it. You could do it. Do the rogue. You even have replacement Captain Marvels. So it's like, you could have rogue take down Captain Marvel and you're like, Oh my God. But yeah. thankfully we have photon and we've got Ms. Marvel. Like we have yes. Marvels to, to occupy that space. And we and can also, also then power up rogue. <laughs> and also Carol Danvers losing her abilities runs the risk of making her more interesting <laughs> oh no yeah oh, oh no she's only she's like she can only absorb energy now like yeah yeah instead uh, of she's like she's goku yeah exactly exactly and then so you have rogue on team good guy and then you got a little romeo and juliet thing going on you got uh uh gambit on team bad guy but oh man there's fucking sparks there what are we gonna do right like maybe he'll maybe he will join the x-men one day but you know it won't be because of the dream <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, that could be no. cool. It, but and then yeah. it also, it just goes back to, I just want there, I want there to be some serialized element of yes. the X-Men characters in this stuff. So you can tease that stuff out. Yeah. They need out. to, they, we've talked about this or at least we've touched upon it. We, they need to embrace the, like the Disney plus thing exists because they wanted it. You know, it wasn't because they wanted to expand or make cinema better. They just wanted to beat Netflix. And it's yeah. like, which is the worst reason in the world to do anything. But if you have it and you are like a leader in this field, then you should be like, remember when they were going to make uh, this is a really weird esoteric reference, but like there was, um, what were those shows? Uh, there was going to be a movie serial. It was like based off the, it was like the hunger games, but it was something else. And, uh, it was going to be like, okay, we're going to do these movies, but we're also going to do shows that are tying in with the movies that are starring yes. the people from the movies to like yeah, expand was, more of the material. Uh, they were going to do that with um, Dark Tower. They're doing something similar with Dune. Yeah. They, they really have a hard on for this concept. Right? There was a failure. I don't remember what it was. But it starred Shailene Woolley. That's all I remember. But, oh, uh, the, oh, yeah. The, Maze Runner. Divergent. It was the Maze Runner. No, Maze, Maze Runner is a different one. I think it's Divergent. It was Divergent. You're right. Yeah, it was yeah. Divergent. So, there were so many of those fucking young Right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But like, uh, you know, it, it collapsed under the weight of its own inadequacies. And so yeah. like, it didn't work out. They should be like, all right, so X-Men, we make we make these tentpole movies that are the big ones. Yeah. And we still keep the cast. We're not going to like do the secret invasion of X-Men on Disney Plus where it's like, okay, all the big stars, they go away. But here's like, <laughs> it's, it's lower decks for X-Men. Yeah. No. You get the stars. You give them the reason why they do the tentpole big movies is so they could do these quiet, heady, like Aaron Sorkin esque scripts where yeah. it's just characters interacting with each other. Cause like X-Men written by Aaron. I mean, I want the MC. I want Aaron Sorkin on retainer for the MCU. Just yeah. fix these, yeah. this dialogue and just make it like snap, crackle and pop. But you know, uh, uh, if you had 30 minute episodes, eight episodes, six to eight episodes of X-Men, the show. Yeah that are 30 minutes long and they're just character work. It's yeah. just characters interacting with each other, maybe some powers, but for the most part, it's just them in their civvies at the mansion or on location. Yeah. That would be so dope. Cause it fills in, it fills in so much character work so that you can get to like, Oh my God, like they're fighting Magneto, the acolytes like wait, Gambit, you know, or Colossus and X-Man now. Yeah. He joined during the show. Yeah. yeah you yeah. have to watch yeah. that also is dope AF and what makes you want to like be a fan. Yeah. And, it, and it embraces the serialized nature of the show or the, of the yeah. comics. Cause like, I, yeah, yeah, I think X-Men of, of all of them, not only 
do they, they basically need it because they, otherwise you're not going to be able to do the groundwork to do these stories justice. Yeah. And I think it lends itself. I think we discussed this last time, but I really think, I think we're on the same page. I think it's like, if you were to pitch, it's like movies, you do your core X-Men movies, you do Wolverine movies. Yes. And Wolverine's basically cameos or supporting character in the X movies. In he's, X -Men not movies. The, he's not the lead because we know we're making Wolverine movies. Exactly. Yeah. We don't have to worry about whether we're going to make Wolverine work. He yeah. does. He does. And then on, on CW, I think maybe you do an anthology where each episode, like here's the Storm episode, here's the Colossus yes. episode, here's the whatever episode. And then you do another, you, so you two movie series, you two TV series, yep. and one of them is like what you're talking about. Although I would might maybe even push it to, this is Generation X, New Mutants. Like this it's is the fair. close the MCU gets to CW soapy because that soapy element, who's making out with who, is the is in the DNA of X Men. Like it's yeah, there. You, you know what it. I mean? Yeah. Um, right. But I'm here to not watch the B team. You know, yeah. like I want to see the love triangle of of Scott, Jean, and Emma. Yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah, do yeah. that and do it yeah. in here, you know? Uh, but also, yeah, like you could do a Generation X show or, uh, or you know, but, and you call it Mutant Academy. Yeah. Right. No. Copy. <laughs> copy. No, I can't do that. <laughs> you can't. Trademark. Yeah. Copy, or the Xavier copy, School. Copy. Yeah. 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 Um, so I, do you think, why haven't we gotten any X Men news? What the fuck's going on? I don't know. I, now I'm starting to suspect, and, you know, I wish I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to worry, Sal. Is what I I'm don't think they have worry. a plan. I don't think they have any idea. I think yeah. they have no plan. And the reason why I think they have no plan is because they wasted the X-Men theme and Professor X in Doctor Strange 3 yeah. or 2. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think that that is I, – I, I don't think they have a plan. I, I think that they are waiting and seeing, but I don't know what they're waiting and seeing for. Like there's, yeah. nothing, there's nothing that's going to indicate that they should do something different from what – Everyone's expecting them to do, which is exactly what we laid out. Not even the shows, just X Men movies with Wolverine as a cameo. Wolverine gets yeah. movies, and that's your movie series. Like yeah. that's what you do, and you get an Avengers versus X Men. If you really wanted to, I, I my pitch really quick is Avengers versus X Men is you is what you make instead of Kang Dynasty. Yeah, since since Kang Dynasty is out the window because mm -hmm. because there's no script, there's no plan, and there's no and, and you have nothing but endless time right now. Right, yeah. because nobody's doing anything. Yep. So Kang Dynasty, you throw out the window. You make Avengers vs X Men. You push Secret Wars two years away. Avengers vs X Men is everyone's going to see that movie, yeah. and that's the movie you introduce the X Men. And it's not so much at a versus as it is just like they do fight, but like, eh, like it, it's it's more like Civil War. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah where yeah. it's it, they don't want to fight, but they do, and then they come together and they fight somebody else. Yeah, and the and that way, but but like because you're not sure if the X Men are. I, I mean. If you're really that worried about the X Men, because you really just need to, all they need to do is just release X Men. That's yeah. First movie is just X Men, mm -hmm. but they, but they're not. But they haven't, and there's no announcement. There's no plan. There's no cast. I don't understand. Yeah, we, we know got, who Metamorpho just, is, but we don't know who Wolverine is. It's it's insane. Yeah, and so, and, and I wonder if maybe they're waiting till post Secret Wars to Let's like do, do a soft reboot. To, yeah, I feel I feel like they're getting really hung up on. I feel like a lot of people get hung up on the wrong things. I, I'm yes. worried that they're hung up on the idea of like, well, how do we introduce mutants? You just yeah. say there's mutants now. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, what do you mean? The world, the, the world's most powerful psychic is the leader of the mutants. He makes everyone not see them. That's yeah. it. The end. Like, just say they're again. There weren't mutants, and now there are. We, yeah. we know there exists. And well, they did it in Ms. Marvel. Scared. She's a mutant. Like, they just said, "Oh, you're a mutant." Even, and I'm like, like oh, explain that her powers were because of this. The bands on our whatever. I didn't like that. No, they said no. They, the only reason why they worked is because she's a mutant. Great. Uh, great. I don't don't make them inhumans. Don't make it aliens. They're they're mutant. It's just we didn't know. Now we know. know. We yeah. we've already got Scarlet Witch. She was a mutant. We right. thought it was the Tesseract. Wasn't she's a mutant? And that's all they need to do. On. That's all they have to say. Yeah, and I just I worry. I don't know. I I it's I, you'd think there'd be some announcement at this point about what we're doing. Yeah. with x-men so i like your uh, Aven uh, avengers versus x-men i think we all stuck on this show like i am fully on board if they just decided like guess what you know how we said kings are big bad uh never mind high evolutionaries are big bad uh bring him yeah. back he was great um he was great and, and then we explain like he's the reason suddenly he's he's decided you know what fuck star lord i'm gonna attack earth and <laughs> the shenanigans he does uh, makes more mutants more makes mutants more red uh like he speeds things up so suddenly there's a ton of mutants totally. um Done, done, and done. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, I think you might have been the one that keyed me off on this. There's evolutionary war. Yeah. 
just do that fucking call it a day everybody please like just just they need to start it, yeah. it, 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 it they needed to start a year ago i mean and maybe they're waiting for deadpool because deadpool turns out to be a franchise as i didn't expect yeah so like maybe they're just waiting for deadpool but, but deadpool is they're fighting on a giant 20th century fox logo yeah the the whole movie is going to be an end game for the fox franchises like it's yeah. it's the it's the maybe that's what they're doing is they're waiting for deadpool to kill the x-men like a, a, that you remember but yeah. again why mm-hmm. you know yeah. it was like why did they remember when like disney plus launched they were like here's the x-men next week oh we're making a new x-men cartoon that's a continuation of the old show yeah there's no way they got the there's no way the data proved they needed to do that. Like yeah. for me, I'm like, there's no way. Because if they did, Spider-Man would get that we get would get one too. Mm-hmm. Because there's no way the people who are watching X-Men weren't also watching the Spider-Man 94 cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, or at least the proportionate amount. So for yeah. me, I'm like, that, that's just for them, the people at the MCU, Feige specifically, they're like, that is the X-Men for me. Uh, uh, confusing yeah. man i don't know i don't i don't know what their what the holdup is but it's or like it's I, self-imposed at this point i'm also worried that there'll be like nobody can replace hugh jackman's wolverine uh disagree they man to, yeah disagree. Uh, <laughs> they need to get their heads out of their asses like you need yeah. to stop thinking like a movie guy and start yeah. thinking like anybody in the real world yeah all right our last segment is generation x where we rank the movies this is gonna be a tricky one everybody Ooh. uh each each week each month we update this list let's start from the top all right what's your of the movies we've watched so far yep four movies four movies number one is x2 yes agreed Uh, number number two two, Uh x-men uh-huh uh-huh number three x-men last stand agreed we're on the same page (laughs) so far and i hate last one last one is x-men origins wolverine and i'm gonna make a i'm gonna uh call my shot and make a yeah. claim we've all, we've obviously seen all the x-men movies before and there are some stinkers in the horizon yes i don't think any of them are going to be as bad as x-men origins wolverine <laughs> i don't think i don't know because i have never seen x-men uh dark phoenix it's not good sal but it is better i am going to argue and maybe i'll feel differently when we revi- revisit it but i remember yeah. it being better than this this was yeah. This was egregious. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I think you, when we were texting about it, you were the ones that this is embarrassing. It Every is. Time, it was embarrassing. I should, I, I would want my name off the movie if I made it. Yeah. I would ask, like, don't, don't, you know, for a long time, for a long time, you know, as I dreamed of being a director and making movies, I really wanted to make superhero movies. And as we've gotten more of them, I'm like, you know what, man? We're good. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I just don't want like I, I have a lot of respect for Tarantino's like I'm gonna make 10 good movies and call it a day. Like, you know what I mean? Like just nothing that you that you end up being ashamed of. Like, what because what if you end up making X-Men Origins Wolverine? Right? Oof. Yeah. Oof. God bless Edgar Wright for I was so bummed at the time, but I think Edgar Wright made the right call for not doing Ant Man. <laughs> yeah, big big time. Big time. All right. We ran super long, everybody. Sorry, I don't know why the bad movies we take longer to <laughs> log through them. Yeah. Sal, where can the kids find you? Come check me out over at youtube.com slash comic pop and comic pop returns. We talk about comics all day long. You'll have a good time with me and my friends. Check them out. There are links in the description there. If you'd rather listen to this show as a podcast, you can do that over at patreon.com slash only stupid answers. Um, if you're listening to this as the podcast and you'd rather watch it as a video live, we do this every third Wednesday of the month over at youtube.com slash only stupid answers. This one was the third Tuesday because we had we're going to Comic Con and so you yeah. know we gotta we gotta move some stuff around. That's right. But I want to thank everybody that joined us live, the people using the super chat to do the show, to participate in the show with us. I appreciate you all appreciate you all. Next time, with a lot of lot of swinging back and forth, is first class. Uh, there we go. Starring the once once in future Mister Terrific. Um, yeah. So we'll be talking about that uh, next month. This is July, so that'll be August. Yes, I too can remember months. <laughs> um, and we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>